today to uh, Henrietta, Texas, where tonight the Henrietta Bearcats will take on the City View Mustangs in game one of the district this year. And so tonight I'm joined, this is Brad Yurko along with Zach Byers. And so we're glad to have you here tonight uh, for this ball game. And uh, just want to welcome to the beautiful fall evening. A little chilly out there tonight. And to the winds out of the north at about 15 miles an hour here. Both teams are about to come on the field. So Zach, tell me what you think we got. What you think about tonight's game? Now it's going to be a real competitive game between uh, Henrietta and City View. You know, it's a game that the Bearcats are looking to get back and get started right. Uh, had kind of a, I guess you can call it a little bit of a debacle, a little bit of a hang up a couple weeks ago, but they had the bye week to get right. And as we'll hear from Coach Johnson in a minute, you know, he feels like the Bearcats had a pretty good week of practice coming into this. They feel, feels like they're pretty rejuvenated. Should be a uh, pretty good showing for the Bearcats tonight, I think. Well, the City View Mustangs are wearing their all-white white helmets, white jerseys, white pants. The Bearcats will be in their uh, black or gold helmets, black shirts, black pants, and the Bearcats are now coming in uh, to their uh, their tunnel right now. They don't have the big Texas blow up tonight because that wind coming in about 15 miles an hour out of the north, that thing might just take off and blow all the way out of town. <laughs> yeah, so. you're not joking. But again, looking forward to uh, getting district started tonight. It's uh, October football now, and uh, looking forward to the team had a bye last week, and we'll uh, we'll go to Coach Johnson's show here shortly as soon as the teams come on the field, and we'll have the coin toss, and then we'll get this game underway. Uh, we appreciate everybody joining us tonight. Here come the Bearcats on the field. sidelines about to head out for the coin toss. You got captains there, Zach? Yes, sir, I do. We got 64 for City View. 64, number or number 64, Jackson Brotherwood. Number 70, Keaton Wilson. Number 8 is going to be Javi Ortiz. And number 5, Kendrick Gibson Jr. For the Bearcats, it's going to be number 58, Connor Olbig. Number 13, Logan Taylor. Number 5, Garrett Blevins. And last number in there is number 79, I believe, that's Logan King. Number 3, Ty Deaton. Number 13, Logan Taylor. Number 58, Connor Olbig. And number 79, Logan King. All right, so the officials are there at midfield. Explain to both teams their options here. Once we uh, do the coin toss, we'll go to the Coach Johnson show before kickoff. I can hear that wind blowing there. I think it's blowing a little more than what people were expecting. <laughs> I thought it might die down, but it's that may factor into the game this evening. There's the toss. Like City View won the toss, they're going to defer to the second City half. Has won the toss and defer to the second half. Let's see which ends they choose to defend here. Bearcats are going to be kicking or receiving, going into the win here, and they're going to receive the kickoff. Mm -hmm. Bearcats will receive the opening kick. All right, so let's break for a moment. We're going to go to the Coach Johnson show. We'll be back after this moment from uh, after we hear from uh, Coach Johnson this week. Welcome this week to the Coach Johnson show. We appreciate the coach's time this week. So district play starts. What's the state of mind of the kids this week? Well, I think everybody's just excited about district starting. and understand we're back to zero and zero and, uh, you know, in the hunt for a district title. So uh, we're just focusing right now on taking care of business versus City View, one game at a time each and every week. And, uh, you know, I think the kids have uh, done a pretty good job of responding to that. So how's the health of the team after the week off? Uh, I think it's been very good. Uh, you know, I saw a little bit of different bounce in their step on Monday. Uh, everybody felt pretty rejuvenated after that off week. Uh, got a lot of our guys back to feeling how they were, uh, you know, at the start of the season. So really excited about that. So tell us about City View. Uh, I think a very athletic team, still real young. Uh, 
you know, they got big uh, big old linemen up front on both sides of the ball uh, who are big and strong and, and then skilled kids around them that can run. Um, you know, I think we got to do a good job of containing uh, number two. Uh, he's a, a very explosive young man. Uh, you know, he was for him last year. One end up getting second at state in the 100 meter dash, so he can he can really fly. Uh, so do a good job of keeping uh, keeping tally on where he's at at all times, and, and then you know uh, just preventing them from making the big play. Uh, you know, I think if we make them go move the ball uh, and drive, we'll, we'll put ourselves in a really good situation. So what's the biggest challenge each week preparing kids as you go through district play? Uh, I think it's like anything, it's just keeping a focus on uh, the game at hand. You know, uh, there's so many things that are offered to these kids. And usually football falls about third or fourth on the list uh, for most most people nowadays with things going on in school, things going on in their home life. Uh, so just always constantly having to remind them uh, about what they need to be focused on each and every week so that uh, on Friday, when they step on the field, they can experience success. You know, I think it happens to all of us as humans, and that's the big uh, value uh, in, in in high school athletics and in football in particular. Is uh, you work all week for this one reward, and, and you can't let things that come in distract you from getting that because uh, nobody really likes that feeling of defeat at the end of the week. So. Uh, you know, a different deal in football as opposed to basketball and baseball and softball and everything that goes on else is you lose a game, but a couple of days later, maybe even later that day, you have another game that, that you can kind of come back from, whereas football is work all week and you get a payday, one payday at the end of the week and you want them to uh, be able to execute and, and feel that success at the end of the week. So just that, that focus uh, continually on the big uh, task at hand. All right. Well, Coach, good luck this week. We appreciate your time. All right. Thank you. We want to thank Coach Johnson there for his time this, this evening and recording that each week for us. So Bearcats are about to receive the opening kickoff. Again, they'll be going against this north wind. It's calmed down a little bit, but still probably the double digits as far as blowing. So we'll see how that affects the Bearcats. Lining up to kick for the Mustangs, number four, Justin Jody. Back deep for the Bearcats, number 10, Mon Miguel Longoria, number 9, Nick Mills, and number 12, Ty Cantwell. All right, here's the kick. It's a pretty good kick. It's going to be taken about the 10-yard line, bobbled, picked up by the Bearcats there at the 5. He's out to the 10. They're going to be caught back way back about the 7-yard line, so a little bit of a of a hesitant start there, Zach, to get things going. Yeah, not ideal. Number 10 right there, Miguel Longoria, he steps back, and on kickoff return, that's not ideal. That's not what you're supposed to do. If the ball's over over your head, that's Nick's ball right there. That's a, that's a ball where Nick's got to be running in there saying, my ball, my ball, my ball, go block, go block, get out of here. Uh, let's see what the Bearcats can do with it, though. All right, so they'll start from about their eight-yard line. Blevins in at quarterback. Hand off to the far side, a couple of yards out front, good gain. Gain to about five, it'll be the second down to five. Big carry right there by number 11, Blaze Deaton. He's back from, uh, he didn't get to play in the Jacksboro game, but he's back this week. And uh, get find, gets in behind his blockers right there on that right side. Those guys did a nice job creating a hole for him. Great first play to get out of the uh, back of the end zone right there. Nice to have him back, he's a big part of this offense. Blevins, the quarterback, again, hands off again to Deaton. He's caught up in the backfield, not much blocking there. Tries to get a yard or two, but looks like he may have lost one. He's still he's fighting still, for it. Yeah, he is. They're still, well, he may have got a, maybe never a really heard a Never really heard a whistle there to blow it dead. It kind of seemed like they were still going to let it keep going. I, I don't think he got anything out of it, but I think he might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage at the minimum right there. Big third down right here. You don't want to go three and out on the first drive of the game. Yep, third down three here for the Bearcats. Blevins in the backfield. Running back, Deaton to his left. One receiver split out each side. Oh, snaps back early. He wasn't ready for it. Now he's looking to go, trying to fight his way up. And looks like he's still going to get the first down despite that little communication problem there. Not sure if everybody can see it or not, but he's got a cast on that left hand. That dinged it up a little bit uh, in the Jacksboro game. He's going to have that cast on probably for the rest of the year. Uh, 
pretty interesting to see him playing quarterback, though. That's that shows a lot of toughness. That's something that you can have as a uh, as a guy, and he also expresses his toughness right there on that big run. So first and ten there on the big run. Blevins going to take it himself again, shakes the tackle, busts it to him. He's almost almost breaks it, gain of about ten yards. Good tough run right there by him, breaking off the tacklers, keeping that ball in there tight. He did a great job to move the chains right there. Excellent run right there by number five Blevins, and great blocking up front for him as well. Yeah, great fight there. He shook the tackle, tackle off in the backfield. 10:05 to go, first quarter just started. First drive for the Bearcats. Started back at their own eight-yard line. Snap back, hand off, looking for a hole. Finds a little bit of a hole in there, but not much. A little bit of a counter right there for Deaton. He steps inside, and, he's, and what that's designed to do is to make those backers think that he's going, that that play's going to run to the right. Instead, he gets the handoff, and he cuts back to the left. And it, the idea of that is to shift those linebackers to the left, and then create separation on that left side and create some open holes. Blevins, quarterback, snap back. He's rolling to his right, trying to throw a man in front of him, but he finds Logan Taylor. Caught at the 38, out to the 42-yard line. Nice pitch and catch there. First very, down. Very, very nice job right there. I think he came inside and then did a little stick route and then worked his way back to the outside. Nice job right there by Logan Taylor on that route. Seeing the ball in and then turning up field and getting the yards. You got to catch it first and then you can get all them yards. What a great job turning that corner and getting across the first down marker. The first and 10 ball at the 41-yard line. The Bearcats have brought it out from their own eight. 8.58 to go, first quarter. Two receivers to this side, one to the far side. Blevins, quarterback, looking to throw. Man's right on him, right at the snap. There's a flag down. Yeah. It's probably going to be a hold. Yeah, Shakes right from the get-go. He's got a game, but it's probably coming back. Yeah, I'm going to say that's probably coming back as well. We'll see, though. Personal foul, chop block. Personal the foul, chop block, the call against the oh, man. That was, they threw that right off the snap there. Yeah, he, uh, they caught that pretty quick. Gonna mark that off. Is that 10? 15. 15. Yeah, that's a big one. Yeah, that's a, that's not ideal. They were moving the ball. That's a, those, those kind of penalties right there, they're drive killers. Now you got some work to do to get to the, uh, to get the City View's 49 yard line. All the way back to the 26 yard line now. First and 25, two receivers to this side, one to the far side. Cody the running back to Blevins right. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. That defensive end is in the backfield almost every play. Yeah, 25. The sack right there. Yeah, 25 right there. Keontre Gresham does a nice job of keeping containment right there. Little rollout by Blevins. And whenever you're a defensive end, you keep contained like that and do a nice job, you get sacks like that. And they almost just fall into your lap like that one does right there. He did a great job. Now it's even farther back. Yeah, you just got to be careful here. You got second down and forever. Second and 36 now. Eight minutes to go first quarter. Two receivers to this side. Snap back. He's going to fake it and run to this side. He's got a little bit of an opening, not much. Now he had a little bit of a hole there to get going, but then it closed up pretty quick. That was 65. Blaine Hill on the tackle right there. Nice job by him in his backer spot, making that tackle. Big, long third down right here. Yeah. Just going to see if you can improve your fourth down punt situation yeah. here. It's going to be tough against the win. Two receivers on this side. Play clock down to 11. Two backs to his left and one's a tight end. Pass out, he's rolling to this side. He's going to keep it himself, trying to get around the corner. He doesn't. So, tackled in bounds, only a gain of about four. Jeremiah, Jeremiah Durham came in from that from that play side safety spot and just kind of wrapped him up. Didn't let Blevins get anywhere. He almost kind of almost got a uh, had a face mask right there. It looked what I like too. It's pretty close. He must just have hit it. But it's yep. now fourth down and thirty. The punter standing back at his ten yard line. 
Desmond Whiteside back here. He's on the Bearcat side of the 50. Snap back. Nice kick. That'll get a good roll, probably. Get a good roll. Not going to be returned. Going across the, the midfield down to the 43 yard line. And that's where City B will get their first possession. So the kickoff kind of put them in the hole there, Zach. And then that one big chop block penalty. They were moving the ball out of there pretty good. Yeah, they were moving the ball really good. It kind of stinks that you have that drive killer right there on the chop block. Yeah, now it's defense. The sack yeah. put them back there. Yeah, back now it's there. the defense's turn to uh, get it going. So 6:20, first quarter. City View going from our left to right, all white uniforms, white helmets. See the defense has played well. Let's see what they can do here. Back in motion, hand off up the middle, bear catch in the backfield. Nice job there by Deaton. That's Ty Deaton right there on that. That's a he comes flying through there and wraps that play up before it even gets started. That's a seven-yard loss right there. Second down and seventeen. Second and seventeen. No huddle for the Mustangs. Snap back, a handoff again coming this way. He breaks it back. Esther's there, missed the tackle on the backfield, but the Bearcats got him. Gain of about three. It'll be third down and about thirteen. Nice job right there by the Bearcats to rally to him. Klein kind of misses that tackle right there. If he wraps him up, he might get him to maybe a yard. Third down and 13. Oh. Got us moving, but they didn't call it. Throwing I don't think they called it, no did flag. they? No, they didn't. no flag. No flag on either side. He kind of raised up. He didn't yeah, really they, cross the neutral zone. Yeah, they really did. None of them jumped. If yeah. one of them would have jumped, they might have called it. That's what I kind of, I was looking at the right there for the Bearcats. Yeah, yeah, that's right the Bearcats. Yes, yes. Real quick three and out right there for City View. It wouldn't have been a first down, but it would have made third down a little bit closer. So now let's see what kind of punt they get with the wind here. We're standing back at their 30 or 28 yard line. 531 to go first quarter, no score. Snap back, short oh, kick it's off short. his foot. It's gonna go out of bounds. Yeah, That's a big break right there. Very, very big. That's out at the 47, I believe. Yep. Well, you like that change in field position? Oh boy, <laughs> you're not joking now. Man. First down and 10. Great three and out right there for the Bearcats, and then you get fortunate on a uh, little bit of a Shanks punt right there. Now you're in business. You're three yards away from being in their territory, and if you can keep up that momentum that you had before the chalk block earlier. You might be looking at six here pretty quick. Yeah, that's a big break right there, the flipping field position, because you got great field position now. 525 to go, first quarter. Two receivers to the right, two receivers to the left, one back in the backfield with Blevins. Snap back, he's looking right, throws right, caught. He's to the 40, to the 35, down to the 30. Tackle Klein. down to the 28 yard line, be a first down for the Bearcats. Nice job there. That's yeah, Klein right there on a slant route. Nice job by him. And then you get a kid that size into the secondary moving through there. He's going to be tough to bring down. Nice run by him after the catch. Nice job on both these two catches that we've seen by the Bearcat receivers tonight. They've done a great job of looking that ball in, catching it, and then getting upfield. And it's paying dividends right now. I like the fact he dropped, got rid of it, boom. Yes. Nice play. Same formation, two receivers to each side, one back in the back though. Blevins, the quarterback, snap back. He's looking right. He's going to take it himself. He gets a little bit of a game, but met there after a game of about two. It'll be second down and eight. Yeah, he gets up to the, uh, gets back to the line of scrimmage there. The blocking kind of collapses a little bit on him. And City is able to stop him after a little bit of a gain. Second and eight coming up for the Bearcats right here. Really haven't. It's gonna. I'm kind of curious. Number five down here for City View, Kinder Gibson. He's pretty tall and pretty comparable, probably athletically, to what Jacob Fletcher's got. Two receivers to this side, one to the far side. Blevins rolling to his left, looking to throw. He's got a man caught a little high off his fingertips. So it'll be third down and eight. Yeah, just missed number three, Ty Deaton, right there. He threw it a little bit too high for him. That's gonna be. Uh, now we'll bring up third and eight right here for the Bearcats to see what they want to do. So 4.16 to go, first quarter. Clock stops with the incompletion, no score. Bearcats got the opening kickoff, but fumbled it and got back in, inside their own 10, drove it out, but then had to punt. See the views three and out and got, Bearcats got great field position and here they are with a big third down. 
Two receivers to each side, one back in the backfield. Blevins, the quarterback. Snap back, looking to throw. He's got a man coming on him. He lets go of it just in time. Deep over the other. Nice. Oh, touchdown, Bearcats. There you go. Right. Yep, on a post route right there. Just opens up. Nice job blocking up front. He almost was a little. He almost didn't have just, but he get. He almost doesn't have enough time right there, but he gets that ball off just in time. Number 25 for City View. Uh, Keontre Gresham, he almost makes the, makes the sack right there. Great job by Blevins, though, standing in the pocket and delivering that ball in a deep strike to Essler. So Blevins will do the point after. Kick is up. Nice kick. And it's good. That's, 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 a, four, nice, that's a nice four, kick. That is solid against the wind. So with 4.10 to go, first quarter of the Bearcats 7, City View 0. We'll be back after these messages from our sponsor. Financial investments are very important, but so are the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. That's why Edward Jones is a proud sponsor of Henrietta Bearcat Football on Texoma Broadcasting. Contact your local Edward Jones financial advisor for your investment needs. Financial advisors Carrie Williams, Lee Gunter, and Brad Yurko are proud sponsors of Henrietta Athletics. Visit at edwardjones.com or connect with us on Facebook. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. A little bit of a score update right here. Brad Holiday's up 6 nothing on Valley View with 11 minutes left in the first quarter over in Holiday. Here's the kickoff by Blevins. A short pooch kick. It's going to be caught at the 40-yard line and tackled there. They might have called a fair catch, but they did not. But they get tackled there. So they're going to get a field position. But obviously, Zach, they might not want to keep kick it deep because of the speed back there. Yeah, yeah. number two, Jeremiah Durham. Like Coach uh, Johnson said earlier, he was second last year in the 100-meter uh, dash at State. That's some wheels. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so City View's second possession here. Bearcats lead 7-0, 4.07 to go, first quarter. City View comes out with two receivers to this side, two backs in the back, or one back in the backfield, and one receiver to the far side. Snap back, he's going to hand it off. No, he's going to fake the handoff, keep it himself, runs up the middle. Oh, he's hit head on. Woo! That Klein Essler. Two Boy. yard, or a three yard game, but that's a tough three yards. Second down and seven. Klein Essler and Cole Scribner come in and make that, make that hit on him. He, uh, number 10, Jacoby Monroe, he gets it outside, he fakes the handoff, he gets to the outside, he sees a little bit of daylight, but it collapses on him in a hurry, and he had a big hit put on him by those two. Nice job by the Bearcats. So second down, two receivers to the far side, one to the mirror, one back in the backfield. Snap back, he is going to hand it off this side, going to the far side, he's got a couple yards, breaks a tackle, gain of about three, it'll be second down and about four. Third down and four, sorry. That's number five right there on that carry, I believe. And that was Kendrick Gibson Jr. Uh, nice, I mean, just a nice little run right there for him. Uh, he's going to put him in decent territory. More than likely, you can probably go for it if you get a little bit closer if you're City View. Two receivers to the site, one far, same formation. Snap back, handoff up the middle. He's got the first down and more. Oh, and he dished some more out that time. Yeah, he did. He dished a little bit more Esther out. Esther got the brunt of that one, but yeah, they get the first down about the 47-yard line. Yeah, City View's got a, City View's got a little nice possession going here right now. First, their first first down of the game right there. That's probably what they want to do right there. They're going to want to run the ball quite a bit with number two. You never know when he's going to break one. That's why you give those kind of guys the ball about 20 times a game. Yep, exactly. 2.30 to go, first quarter. Three receivers to this side this time. One receiver to the far side. Snap back. He's looking to throw. Throws right. It's tipped. Oh. Nice job, Logan Taylor. Number 13, got a hand on it. Nice job by Logan. Number 13, Logan Taylor right there. Almost get, or knocks that ball up in the air, and it's almost a tip drill. Number 6, Cole Scribner, I think might have been the closest one to it. It just fell probably about two yards away from him. He wasn't going to be able to lay out and 
try even try for that one. Not one quite far enough toward him, but no. nice job there by Logan. It's going to be second down and 10, 226 to go. Block stop with the incompletion. Two receivers to each side, one back in the backfield. Snap back, looking throw, throws right in a flat, caught number up across the 50, run out of bounds there. That's not going to be ideal for the Bearcats. Well, late hit on the sideline, we're guessing, based on the flags. I didn't see the second hit. I thought he just ran into the chains. I guess no, they, yeah, he got hit pretty. He was already out of bounds. Uh, Michael Dell knocks him out of bounds right ball, there. But I don't know who the other guys. one was that got over there and made the tackle or put that second hit on. That's just not ideal if you're the Bearcats right there. Yeah, That's going to give them an easy 15. It's a gain of 20, 25 yards right there. Yep. 221 to go first quarter. Bearcats 7. City View zero. It's a City View second possession. Pretty simple little play right there. Two from ten. Uh, number ten, Jacoby Monroe to number five, Kendrick Gibson. You know he. It's just a little stop route, and then he, and then he's able to go. Just get the ball in the hands of your playmakers right there. Flag on the play. Yeah, it's going to be a flag. Offside. The Bearcats. And and we got to get a stop, side. otherwise it doesn't matter. It's going to be a touchdown for City View. There is a flag down, but we think that's a good thing. After number two, Jeremiah Durham, in for the Mustang touchdown. There is a flag on the play. Let's see what the call is from the official. Yeah, offsides against the Bearcats. Offsides, the call against the Bearcats. That him be scoring seven to six. Is good. Nice play there by the Mustangs. Nice drive. Yeah, they. Uh, they rattled off a few big plays right there with their big playmakers. Probably settled in after that first little offensive possession that they had. Now, uh, now you got yourself, uh, now you got yourself a tie ball game here in just a second, depending on what we got going on with this kick. Now back to hold and kick. No good. Wide off right. Yep. Pushed it. 2-11 to go, first quarter, Bearcats score, score Bearcat 7, City View 6. We'll be back after these messages from our sponsors. Exoma Broadcasting would like to thank the Henrietta All Sports Club for sponsoring the broadcast this season. The Henrietta All Sports Club invites you to join us as we support the athletes of Henrietta High School. The All Sports Club meets the third Wednesday night of the month at 8 p.m. in the Administration Building. For updates on Bearcat and Lady Cat action, follow the Henred All Sports Club on Facebook and Twitter. Also check out our website at www.henriettaallsports.com for schedules, sponsors, upcoming events, and purchase spirit items online. When you're at football games, support the club by visiting the concession stand and spirit booth. Alright, we're back here, first quarter, 2-11 to go. Bearcats held on to a 7-6 lead. Mustangs. City View drove down and scored, but missed the extra point. Back so they'll be the kicking off now. 2-11 to go, then we'll switch 12. ends here. There's the kick back. There we go. Right there at the 3, he's going to bring it out to the 10, the 15, the 20. Got a little bit of a hole there and closed up, though. On Still on his feet, out to yeah. the 25-yard line. Nice return. Yeah, that was a really good return by him. The, that little hole that was opened up for him was a really good I got excited size there for, for a moment. Yeah, I, like, I kind of did, too. I was, I was kind of excited, too. I was kind of thinking, oh, man, they might have just done something here. Nice job, by, by, nice job, though, by the Bearcats to create that lane for him. Now here comes this next offensive possession. They'll start at the 24-yard line, first and 10. Two receivers to this side, one to the far. Two backs flank to Blevins right. Snap back, he's gonna pitch in front to... E. Not much there on Not that much run. There. Caught in the backfield, loss of about three on the play. Those outside, those outside runs have really been there to get going in this game for the Bearcats. They're gonna have to shore up those outside edges if they wanna, wanna they're gonna wanna keep attacking that. The inside runs have been fairly good so far, and then we've hit a couple of good po uh, pass plays as well. Yeah, it seems like they've had more success. That clock's running quick too. <laughs> yeah, 133 to go. Two receivers to the far side, one to the near. Blevins, the quarterback, in the gun. Hands it off the middle, coming this way. Not much other trying to get the edge. Oh, no. Uh, not ideal. That's not good. 
Not ideal at all. Beaten tackled all the way back to the five, six yard line. You can't do that, Zach. You just got to take it. And yeah, you kind of just kind of keep forcing that up the field. And regardless of what the situation is, you always want to be headed upfield. You don't ever really want to show the back of your uh, the back your back numbers no. to everybody on the uh, home side here. At, at, uh, puts him in a third and. I haven't calculated it yet for the scoreboard. It's Clock's uh, 50 seconds to go. 34 yard line from R6. So 24 yards by my Henrietta Math. Yeah. Nine seconds on the play clock. You got to get this play off here. Should be careful. He's going to run this way. He's got an open. Yep. He's got, got a little 10, bit of lane. 15 to 20. He's got a little bit of lane. Okay. Oh, driven out. Almost made it back to the first down. He's at the 30. He's going to be four yards short. If uh, number two, their speedster, Man. Jeremiah Durham, isn't there on that play. He's gone. Yeah, he might break that one for a lot more than what he just got right there. And that was a lot of yards right there for him, too. Johnson's going to think about this with the. It's going to be the end of the quarter. Yeah. He's got to snap it. Yeah, they got to snap it. Play, yeah, because he was out of bounds. So yeah. they're going to have to snap it. They're going to have to punt, I believe. Oh, yeah, yeah there right. goes deep. Clock stop. Well, at least they made it back to help with the field position. They'll yeah. be flipping in. So yeah, that'll be punting things. against the, with the wind. But. They had a pretty good punt just a minute ago with the wind, or it, going into it. Good punt. Another one. She got a good roll over that. Yeah. She's going to roll sideways. There you go. There it is. Down to the 33 yard line. That'll be. He's having a really good season. Yeah, he is. He's doing a great job back there. The punt rolls dead at the 33 yard line where the Mustangs will have it first down and 10. The Mustangs will get the ball back here. They'll run one play probably and then we'll flip sides. Yes. 13 seconds to go. Henry had a clinging to a 7 to 6 lead. Bearcats are going to have to slow down that outside run game before the uh, Mustangs. And, I mean, a tale as old as time is City View wanting to get their playmakers on the outside yep. and using their speed. They've always had a lot, they've always had a lot of speed over there. They've uh, they've done a really, and they do a really nice job of trying to get the ball in those guys' hands. Two receivers on this side, one on the far side, one back in the backfield with the quarterback. Snap back, he's going to hand it off up the middle. He's got a couple yards met there after a gain of about six yards. It'll be second down and four. Straight run right up the middle. Let his big offensive lineman go to work for him. Nice job right there by uh, City View's offensive line. Bearcats got to get a. Bearcats need to get a little bit better of a push right there. We don't need to be letting off five yard gains on the first play of the drive. Yep. So that'll be the end of the first quarter. Your score, Henry, at a seven. City View six. We'll be back after these messages from our sponsors. Comcast, your locally owned fiber optic internet provider, wants to wish the Bearcats good luck this season. We hope the Bearcats have speeds like our lightning fast fiber. Go to comcell.net to see our packages and sign up today. This is Mickey G with G Option. We proudly support the United Bearcats. We're here for all your option needs. Find us on Facebook. Need to clean out your garage, shop, or barn? Are you remodeling your house or constructing a new home? Give Duck Creek Disposal a call. Our locally owned company offers roll-off dumpsters perfect for jobs of any size. Call Duck Creek Disposal at 940-257-5660. Right, here to start the second quarter. Snap back, him off up the middle. He's got more gains, Zach. Oh, my oh no, he's not down. Wow. And off the number 25, Keith Andre Grusham. Tackled at the 43 yard line. That'll be enough for a big, first big down. run right there by Gresham. That is. Where is he at on this? I'm just starting the second quarter here. City View driving again. They drove it down and scored on their last drive. That's number 25. The yeah, defense. another big Man. play right there for them. Bearcats going to have to start limiting these big runs. Two receivers on the far side, one to the near, one quarterback back. I'm going to hand it off on the far side, 25 again. Nick in the backfield, down. trying Gotta to bring him down. down. 
not coming down easily. They blow the whistle. A gain of about four on the play. It's going to be second down and six. Keontre Gresham is a little bit bigger than uh, number 20 or than number two, Jeremiah Durham. Durham seems to be the more of the speedster. Now they seem to be going to the more of the power back kind of guy, style kind of kid. Not to say he doesn't have any speed to do his own name, but he doesn't have yeah. <laughs> state, state track meet speed. Yeah. Two receivers to each side. One back in the backfield with the quarterback. Snap back. Running this way. Got him. Backfield. Yeah. Hang on. There you go. Nice. Good nice job, job right there, there. Logan, Logan Taylor, of course. Taylor again makes a big play. It's a loss of about three. It's going to be third down and nine. And that's where you kind of want them. They haven't really thrown the ball very much tonight. I don't know what they've got. Uh, I don't know what exactly they look like passing wise, other than that uh, little quick screen that they had out to the outside earlier that netted them some big yardage. They haven't really thrown the ball downfield. I don't think they've had a third and long except for that first possession. Yeah. The last possession, I don't think they had a third down and long because they were. Yeah, they were no, no, they definitely didn't the have ball. one on that last one. So, one receiver to each side, 10 minutes to go in the first half. Snap back, handoff 25 going to the far side. He's got the 40. Got to contain. Trying to get the quarter, he gets the corner. He's got the 30, the 25, the 20, down to the 10. Tackled there about the six yard line. Let's see where the officials spot him. But Zach, they got around the corner that time and got the big game. Yeah, not very good job by the Bearcats on containment right there. They go. And they. And, uh, Gresham gets to the outside right there and rattles off a big run. Now they're down in the five. Now it's time for the Bearcat defense to really hold strong right here. You can't let them score on this first play. Yeah. If they score on third down or fourth down, you made a stand at least. You didn't just let up. We got to make a stand here. First and goal. Two receivers to the far side, one to the near, one back in the backfield. He's going to hand it off at the middle. Yep. Caught back there, Logan Taylor again. That might be a recurrent theme tonight. Yeah. Not to say it hasn't been happening all season, but Logan Taylor does a great job as a defensive end, folks. Well, He's fun, fun, fun like to watch. Like you're seeing while they're trying to run outside. Yeah, yeah. 9-20, first half. Left to go. Bearcats, seven. City View, six. City View scored in our last possession. And they've got a nice drive going here. Second down and goal from the six yard line. Different kid at quarterback. Bunch, bunch formation to this side, one receiver to the backfield. But a wildcat formation is going to take it down to the one yard line nice and short. stop there. It's going to make it third down and goal. Yeah, they go direct snap right there to Malachi Williams. Hasn't played a, didn't notice him in pregame playing quarterback at all. Now we'll see what they're going to do. He's still in. You know, district, you start seeing some different wrinkles. Yeah, yeah. There's for only sure, four for games sure. of tape on City View. They only played four games. Bearcats have played five. Much formation again. And now he's going to go inside and try to run right out the middle. He's got it yeah, into the touchdown. Yeah, he's got it. They just bunched the formation there, Zach. And right, right down the middle of the Bearcat defense. They throw, it in a, throw a little motion in there as well. Uh, I believe that was number five. Uh, Kendrick Gibson motioned inside as well, and he was kind of standing right behind the guard, as in, like, and he kind of gave a look to me like he might just step over to the left a little bit, take a direct That's snap from underneath, and then, and then dive in. <laughs> Here's the point after they missed their first point after. Score is 12 to 7, City View. High snap and brings it down, almost blocked there by Essler. But the kick is good. Kick is good. So with 8.23 to go, your score, City 13, Henrietta 7. Henrietta Fitness Company, open 24 7 in Henrietta, 940 531 Follow us on Facebook at Henrietta Fitness Company. Dairy Queen is a proud sponsor of Henrietta Bearcat football, located in Henrietta at 927 East Omega Street in Henrietta, Texas. Williams Realty and Auction Service, LLC, is an independent brokerage licensed in both Texas and Oklahoma. You can find us at 106 South Bridge, just off the square in Henrietta, Texas. Give Scott a call at 940-781-7484 or come by for a visit and find out how we can help you with all your real estate and liquidation needs. Our focus has been and will continue to be integrity and client service. 
back here, second quarter, 8.22 to go in the second quarter. Score City 13, Henry had a seven. Jack, they've scored in their last two drives. Bearcats got to do something on offense and figure out what to do to stop them on defense. Yeah, we need a big, uh, we need a big offensive drive right here. Give the defense a little bit of time. Give the uh, defensive coaches a little bit of time. Figure something out. Maybe change up the game plan a little bit. See what they got going on. Short kick there to the far side. They didn't want to kick it deep because we almost broke one that last time. So Bearcats will have good field position there. First and 10 at the 39 yard line. Now going from our left to right here. They got the wind behind them. Yep. Doesn't seem to be blowing as much, but it's still blowing. Still a pretty decent wind there. It'll definitely affect the kicking game. Oh, for sure, for sure. So Bearcats come out in tight formation. They got one receiver here to the far side, Fletcher. Two backs in the backfield on each side of Blevins. Now they shift over. A little different formation for the Bearcats. Very different formation. He's coming to Student this side body. looking for the block. Keep going. Shakes a tackle. Gain of about Keep five on the play. It'll be second down and five. Right there, they motion. They go into a twin set. Whenever we say twins, we mean there's two running backs back there with Blevins. They shift one of them to the other side, and then it's just student body. Hey, everybody go find a man to go block. We're running sprint right right here. Nice little pickup right there for the Bearcats on first down. You see to calm down, get a nice drive. Mm -hmm. Take some clock. See if they can get the lead back here yep. before the half. Yeah, Two you got to settle that offense now for City View. Two receivers to this side, one to the far side. Essler in motion. Blevins looking to throw. Looks right, looks left, throws left, overthrows Essler. Yeah, yeah I, I think he got, I think that's, uh, I think there's a little pass interference right there on uh, City View. They grab him. Yeah, I think they were grabbing there. Klein right there. It looked like it from where I was sitting or where I'm standing. Well, that'll be a first down at the 50, and if that's the case. 7.36 to go, first half. City View 13, Henrietta 7. Officials are discussing the foul. Pass interference. Oh, I didn't catch the hold. And I didn't catch the, I didn't see that did not catch the head official's flag right here. So it'll be second down and four again. Mm -hmm. The incomplete pass and offsetting penalties. 7.36 to go. First half. Bearcats come out with two receivers to this side, one to the far. 25 second clock is now just starting. We got plenty of time. One back in the backfield. Esler to Blevins right. He goes in motion again. Snap back, he's gonna run to his right, another flag. This maybe looks like a defensive penalty if they didn't stop the play. I the thought the end the on that other flag side flag might have gotten upfield really quick, but I couldn't tell. Let's see what they sometimes call they do, sometimes these kids, you know, they get really good jumps, and then there's other times where you know it's it's clear and evident. Well, that's gonna be a false start. No, yep, false start on the Bearcats. Start the ball against the Bearcats. That'll make it second down and nine. That hurts. Takes away kind of that big play that they had on first down. Now you got a little bit of work to do to get this first down. Big thing that's also hurting is that clock's just not moving. Now, it's, no, there, there it goes now. But yeah, you know, all this, uh, all this stoppage and everything like that. You know, it try to get into a rhythm. Yes. Two receivers to this side, two to the far side. One back in the backfield. Snap back to Blevins, looking left. Those left over the middle, mm -hmm. thrown short. On a 21, got a tip on it, but he got his hands up in the air. It looked like somebody might have gotten a hand on that ball. It lands a little bit short. He's trying to find Deaton right there on that right, on that little in route right there. Brings up third and nine. Big down right here for the Bearcats. You really don't want to get the ball back to them. No. On a, a on what would seemingly be another three and out. I know they ran multiple plays here. But. Two receivers to each side, one back in the backfield. Blevins looking back, looking to throw. Steps up in the pocket. He's got nowhere to go. He's rolling to his right. Throws over uh -oh. the middle of the dangerous catch. Huh. Esther almost came back for it. There's somebody flashing yeah, behind us. That's a scary proposition right there, Zach. A lot of things can, bad can happen. Yeah, that's, uh, that's one of those... Uh, 
plays right there where he's running out of bounds and Coach Johnson's probably wanting him to throw that out of bounds. He, he tries to throw it back across his body there. He gets lucky that he finds one of his bodies in Klein Esler right there, and Klein would have had to make one really awesome catch. He almost had a play on it in the last minute. I think he saw a guy flashing behind him. Didn't know if he was going to be the one catching or not. Snap back for the punt. He's got the win this uh, time. That nice ball's going to go. Hits at the 15, goes down to the 10. Still rolling. It's going to be killed there at about the seven yard line. Nice punt. Nice punt down there by Ty Deaton. He's doing the right things this week, apparently, because he's getting some really good bounces for himself. Yeah, he is. Even against the wind, he got some good bounces. Well, here you go. City View up 13-7 with the ball. 6.46 to go first half. The defense like to needs to make a stop here. Deep yeah, you'd like to see the defense put up a little bit more of a fight than we've done the past couple of drives right here. And really and truly, City View's just rattled off on that their on their first scoring possession. They rattled off some multiple different plays. On that last one, the Bearcats kind of had them for a second, but then a big third down play, and it gets them into the red zone. Snap back, pitch to the far side. Taylor's up there, forces it inside. Yep. I got some help when he did yeah, that. Gain, there of you go. Go. Gain of one on the play to be second down and nine. Not, ba not bad at all for a first play right there, keeping uh, the cut keeping off that outside right there. Yeah, Roman got up field and forced it inside where he had help. Yes, he did. Dur he did a nice job of cutting Durham off right there and turning that, making sure he had to turn it up field. You give that guy a, lane, a running lane on that outside, he's going to be tough to catch. Second down and nine. Two receivers to the far side, one to the near, one back in the backfield. Snap back, hand off up the middle. He's got a little bit of a hole. Yep. Shuts it down there. Nice. Good, Good job. job again. Gain of about two. It'll be third down and about seven. Bearcats doing a nice job of really maintaining their assignments on this drive so far. Now here comes the big down to make to got to finish this drive or to finish this drive off right here and cut it here and get the offense the ball back. You got to get a stop right here. We'll call it third down and six. 5.40 to go, first half. City View 13, Henry at a seven. Big play here for the Bearcat defense to get them off the field. Force a punt against the wind here on this end of the field. Two receivers to the far side. And we got a timeout, City View. So we'll timeout break for a moment. Get some message from our sponsors. We'll be back after this moment. Leaving your job? Consider an IRA for your nest egg. Objective financial advice can help you consider all available options to make a suitable decision. Call Shane Cody at 940-538-0583. Shane Cody is an investment professional with Momentum Independent Network Incorporated. Member FINRA slash SIPC. The Gonzenbach family proudly supports the Henrietta Bearcats and the Henrietta Ladycats. Let's go Bearcats! Back here after the timeout. See if you took a timeout there on third down and six. Couple of score updates. Holiday's up 27 nothing in the second quarter. Kalisburg's up 14 to nothing in the first quarter. They're playing S and S tonight. Kalisburg or uh, Kalisburg is? Yes. We got third down six here. 5:29 to go. First half. CDB 13. Henrietta seven. Big. Big play here for the Bearcat defense. Two receivers to the far side, one back in the backfield. Motion to the far side. Now you got double, another guy in motion. Everybody's yep, going right. Yep, yep. A little screen out there. Got a rally. Got a rally. They got the first down by a yard. Yeah. He really makes an athletic play out there. I don't know who that is. Is that number one that made that or number five? I'm willing to bet it's number five, Kendrick Gibson. Down to the 20 -yard line. Just a screen First right there, and then that's just one of those plays where the Bearcats secondary just kind of got a rally, and those linebackers on that side have to rally to the ball real quick as, or as fast as they can, and City View ends up winning it on that one. Yeah, they just loved everybody to that side. Two receivers this side, one to the far side. Snap back, hand off up the middle, met in the backfield again. Yeah. Number 53. Will Jaton with the tackle. Nice yeah, play by Will. He walked down, he so he's playing good. backer most of the time. But there's a there's a scenario most or that I've been noticing most of the time the Bearcats are a three down uh, they're a three down uh, front. 
There's a situation that the Bearcats have noticed that Broussard has noticed that they're walking him down and they're going with a four D line set. It'll be interesting to keep watching that to see if what they're see if we can figure out what they got going on. Got five seconds on the play clock. Two receivers each side. Low snap on the ground. He picks it up. Looking right, looking right to throw. He's got a guy Eight wide balls. open. Oh my Caught goodness. Caught at the 50 to the 40. <laughs> That's number 21 for City View right there. That's TJ Crump. He might be the biggest receiver I've ever seen, Brad. Yeah, he, he, was wide. Oh, he, was, he was 10 yards past the nearest Bearcat on that far side. Yeah, he was wide open on that play. So that sets up City View now at the 31-yard line, first and 10, 427 to go, first half. These big plays, Brad, they're, they'll hurt you in the long run. Three receivers to this side, one to the far. One back in the backfield to the left of running back. He's going to hand it to him up the middle. He's got the 25, the 20. Now your defense is getting tired. Yeah. There's 25 Gresham. There is a flag on the play. Oh, there is oh, a, flag a flag in the flag. backfield. Where is it from? It looks like it's at the 30. It's got to be a holding. Yep. Holding the call against the Mustangs. Get a break That'll there. That'll help. That'll help. I mean, a turnover, Zach. I want to call for a turnover. Right yeah, now. that's a. That would be handy. We could use one right now. That backs him all the way to the 41 yard line. First down and 20 for the Mustangs. First and 20. Let's see if the Bearcats can take advantage of that. 420 to go, first half. City View 13, Henrietta 7. Two receivers to this side, one receiver to the far side. Snap back to quarterback. He's going to hand it off, coming to the near side. He's got some room. Got about six or seven yards there. City View has fired up. Well, their offensive line. Yeah, their offensive line is doing a great job of, the, of enforcing themselves right now. They're a pretty decent sized group. Uh, number 34 right there, Caden Ryder for the Bearcats comes up and makes a play. Not sure what position he was at. Looks like he's a safety. So he might have been play side safety or backside safety right there. I'm not for sure. He came up and made a really good stop right there to keep that from getting even farther. Two receivers to the far side, one to the near. Snap back, fakes the handoff. Got uh -oh. it wide open in the middle of the field. The 20 down to the 15, tackled there. It'll be a first down for City View there. He was wide open right there again. That's number 21, TJ Crump. Wide open right there in the middle of the field. Bearcats are going to have to get this thing shored up. 3.15 to go first half. City View trying to add to their lead here at the end of the half. They lead 13-7. to seven. Two receivers to this side, one to the far. Snap back, handoff up the middle. Nice Tackle play. There by Logan Taylor again. That's the guy you needed. That's the kind of play you needed. Now you're going to go again. By number 13, Logan Taylor. You got second two more down downs to get this stop. The second then down you're going to force, then you force City View into a scenario where they got to think about it. My guess is they're going to go for it. Probably so. Just guessing. Yep. Based no. on the kicker. What we've seen so far. So. Three and more the downs. Fact to they've do. been able to run the ball like they have. Yeah. 2.30 to go, first half. Back Second to that direct snap. Bulk formation again. Yep. He's going to take it. Direct snap to number three. He's going to run to the right. Bearcats get him break down. it up pretty good. Got to get him down. They got him down there. Gain of about snap three yards. Three Maybe two or three yards in the play. Yeah, nice job by the Bearcats right there to rally. About seven. He's got to come off too. Game of three on the play. Third down and seven. I still don't see ten. The three had to go off. I'm curious as to what they're about to try to do here. Two, twenty-one, and two and twelve are in the backfield right now. That's Fifteen seconds on the play clock. One forty to go. Clock oh, running. They're probably going to hang out for a minute. Well, they're probably going to call a timeout. Yeah, then. and then three will be able to come back in. His helmet come off? Is yeah. that what happened? Yeah, okay, yeah. All right, there's a Time out. timeout. The so we'll break for some messages from our sponsors here.
Association of Henrietta backs the cats. We have been serving farmers and ranchers in Texas and Oklahoma for over 80 years. You can depend on us for quality bulk and sacked feeds. Like the cats, we are passionate and excited about what we do. Cheer loud and proud, Caitlin. Hey football fans from Dr. Guerrero and staff located at 102 South Archer Street here in Henrietta. We see patients of all ages and are currently accepting new patients. Dr. Guerrero fell in love with our small town and family traditions. Let's beat them, Bearcats! Family owned and operated for three generations, Wimsco has been buying, repairing, remanufacturing, and selling electric motors and new controllers for close to 39 years. Located at 206 Central Avenue in Petrolia, Wimsco is open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Wimsco can service both personal and business accounts. You can stop by the shop or call 940-524-3363. Back here, 130 to go. Big third down here, City View. Third down, about seven from the 12 yard line. One receiver to this side, two in the backfield, or two in the slot. One goes in motion, then they come. Everybody's lined up to the left side of the quarterback. Snap back, he's going to run this way. He's got blockers out front. He's got the first throw. He's just going to be short of the first down. Oh, it's right on it. Yeah, they got him at the they're not going to be not motion and first down yet. No. They're showing fourth and one. Yeah, they are definitely go for that. So yeah, that's what it does. Yeah, they motion. will. This is right. You now the Bearcats defense is where you got to get up and get get up and get a stop right here. So he's got one timeout left. You'll flip the momentum if you can get a stop right here. Inside a minute to go, first half. And City View gets the ball back. That's right. After they, half time. Ten seconds on the play clock. Bunch formation again. They call it the Wildcats. They changed quarterbacks. They've been running out of this formation with some success. Timeout. We're going to call a timeout again. Timeout called by the Mustangs. So that's their last timeout. I believe. Yes, it is. They're all out. So 37 seconds to go. First half. City views up 30, 13 to 7. They've scored in their last two positions. Bearcat offense has had some big penalties that slowed them down. They've got to. Uh, Defense has played tough, but they've been on the field a lot this first half. They have been on the field a lot this first half. And another big thing is just the big plays that City View's been able to come up with and get at the right time for themselves. At halftime, we'll show the uh, Henrietta band. We'll try to get some, get we'll some stats. And the also, Zach win. Duncan's here with us. He's going to come up and visit with uh, Zach Byers. Two <laughs> <laughs> Zachs are going to visit a little bit about some football here at the half. So uh, stay with us as the Bearcats go in. And hopefully only down 13-7. A big play right here on fourth down. Yeah, this could become... I don't want to be the worst case scenario guy, but this could become a deal where they, can, they, can, they, can, they convert there. and they score a touchdown, then they come back out and score another touchdown. You want to talk about Barry Hole real quick. Concern Esler's not out there right now. Yeah, that's not good. All right, bunch formation. The quarterback, two guys in front of him, one guy to his left. Like everybody is going to run yeah, forward. Yeah, it's going to be a run up the middle. There you go. Uh oh. They got behind him, but it's enough for the first down. I, yeah, I think the he got it. The clock run out, though. They only got 32 yeah, seconds yeah, left. They're going to stop the clock to mark it for the first down, and they'll start the clock yep. again. They got 31 seconds. Yeah, that'd be first down. No timeouts first left. Yep, they got to hurry if they want to do something here. 30 seconds. If you can get a stop right here, you might cause some confusion for them. You might if you get in that backfield. Snap back, you're gonna run up the middle. He's in for the touchdown. Mm. That one stings, Brad. Yeah, it does. Just ran right up the middle. Number yeah, that's three, number three, Williams. Malachi Williams. He just gets in behind his blockers. That's a great formation for them. Yeah, they, it is. It's student that's body tough. right up the middle. It's tough to stop inside the five yard line, inside the 10 yard line yeah. for that matter. 
So the score is 19 7 now, City View. And for the point after. Judy lining up to attempt the extra point. Snap back, kick is up, and it's good. So your score with 18, 18 seconds, seconds to go in the, first half. in the half. Score City View 20, City Henrietta, Henrietta, 20 7. Henrietta 7. 1045 says Jesus came to serve and not be served. I'm Penny Reardon, Realtor with Anchored Realty. Please give me a call and let me serve you on your next transaction. 940-733-7445. Go Bearcats! Bearcat football brought to you by Angela Novell, attorney at law. Reg and Chapel Deaton Consulting Inc. Postal Family Credit Union, celebrating 90 years of service. All right, we're back here. 13, 18 seconds to go in the first half. City View adds another score. They've scored the last three possessions, Zach. To take a 27 lead here at the end of the half. Yeah, they've got all the momentum right now. And, uh, and like you said, they get the ball to start the second yeah, half. Yeah, and that's, that's crucial. Need a big, big return out of Nick Mills or uh, Miguel Longoria or Todd Eaton right here. Sorry, Ty Here's Cantwell. To kick off for the Mustangs. Here's the Mustang kickoff. It's going to be kind of a squib kick the far side. Oh, my God. Oh, no. We're going to go past him at the 10, picks it up there. Out to the 15, trying to get outside. He's not going to. Nope. He's going to leave about 12 seconds to go in the half. Bearcats just probably take a knee here. Regroup at the half. Yeah, I think so. I think you're right, Brad. Bearcats come up. Two receivers this side, two to the far side. Snap back. Fakes the pass. He keeps it up the middle. Gain of about five. That's going to run it down. Yeah, it's going to take us half time, to I Yep. That's going to be the end of the first half. So with the score, City View 20, Henrietta 7. We'll be back after these messages from our sponsors, and we'll have some of the band at the half, have some stats, and have some um, uh, Zach Duncan come up here and visit with us. Dwayne Ayler Insurance Agency, covering your home, auto, life, health, and commercial insurance needs. All of your priorities covered under one roof. Let us customize an insurance package to meet all your family's needs. Now offering farm and ranch policies tailored to your needs. at 940-538-5015 or stop by our office on the Courthouse Square. Financial investments are very important, but so are the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. That's why Edward Jones is a proud sponsor of Henrietta Bearcat Football on Texoma Broadcasting. Contact your local Edward Jones financial advisor for your investment needs. Financial advisors Carrie Williams, Lee Gunter, and Brad Yurko are proud sponsors of Henrietta Athletics. Visit at edwardjones.com or connect with us on Facebook. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. Texoma Broadcasting would like to thank the Henrietta All Sports Club for sponsoring the broadcast this season. The Henrietta All Sports Club invites you to join us as we support the athletes of Henrietta High School. The All Sports Club meets the third Wednesday night of the month at 8 p.m. in the Administration Building. For updates on Bearcat and Lady Cat action, follow the Henrietta All Sports Club on Facebook and Twitter. Also check out our website at www.henriettaallsports.com. For schedules, sponsors, upcoming events, 
and purchase spirit items online. When you're at football games, support the club by visiting the concession stand and spirit booth. Folks, we got Zach Duncan. Used to be the guy over at TRN. <laughs> now he's just a little freelance guy, right? Yeah, yeah. I just help out on Friday nights, and I still love going to football games. So, and I'm, I'm out teaching, coaching at Ryder, so I still catch a few of their games too. But uh, uh, here tonight, and kind of, kind of an interesting game, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I felt like Henry was in control a little bit early, and. Uh, you know, Seaview's got some guys, I think, that can, you know, yeah. score, you know, real quickly. Oh, yeah, they uh, do. That, that Seaview just had that 92-yard drive. It took up, I don't know how much of that second quarter, but a huge chunk of it. Yes. So, y'all really couldn't get use the yeah. win to your advantage. So Yeah, uh, no, we really couldn't. They, uh, yeah, so, like, you know, just like what you said, you know, they get, the Bearcats get the ball, and they get that drive going. Then they have that penalty. They yeah. kind of knocks them back. So then they punt it away, and then they get a really quick three and out. So you're like, and then the ball back, and then we drive down and we score. So you're thinking, okay, we got a little something going now. But like you said, after that, City View's offense kind of settled in, and they just kind of took off from there. Yeah, and I, I knew the Durham kid. I, he had a, you know, he's he's a good player. He, you know, won a silver medal and a hundred in the state track meet last year. But this number 25, this Graham kid, uh, he's had a couple big runs. I have him. Hold on, let me look at my stats. I have him eight carries for 59 yards, and he's broken a couple. Yeah. He, he looks like a stronger version of Durham. Yeah. He's pretty quick, but he's also just a bigger, maybe harder to That's bring That's what down, I was so. calling him earlier, too. I was like, it's kind of like a power compliment to him, yeah. almost. And then this formation that they're going to whenever they get in the uh, whenever they get in the red zone, when they bunch up and they yeah. snap it to uh, Malachi, Malachi Williams. Williams. Yeah, they're letting him kind of take charge of that offense. And then, uh, then they hit the... <laughs> I think number 21. They don't have a height and weight listed, but it's... T t he's it's, got to be the biggest receiver I think I've ever seen. Well, I mean, he's... he's <laughs> let's just say he's not real tall. <laughs> but he's... I mean, he showed some speed. And, oh, I yeah. Mean, he, he has obviously good hands. He got a nice, you know, pass over the middle as well. So, TJ Crump's his name. But, yeah, yeah. he's... He, He's wearing number 21. He kind of reminds me. Uh, I, I I feel like I don't. I can't remember what a Kyle Green's number was in Windhorse back in the early 2000s. But like he's he built kind of like a yeah. Kyle Green. You know, gotcha. it's a big, sturdy, class 2A you know type player. And uh, yeah, I mean, he had a big catch, 50-yard catch on that drive that really kind of got them you know threatening. But yeah, you're right. I think on fourth and one there, I think everybody knew number three is going to take a direct yeah. snap and go straight. He's not going to try to go out left or right. And right. Henrietta, you know, stopped him pretty good. All they need was a yard though, and it looked yep. like he just barely got it. So. Yep. And I don't think it's panic time for Henrietta yet. Um, it would be good. The Seaview's getting the ball to start the second half. So it'd be right. really good if you can get the ball back pretty soon. Yeah. Because if you let Seaview get like a four or five minute drive, even if they don't score, if they just switch the field. Yeah. And, uh, you know, but yeah, Henrietta's offense, I mean, I, I don't want to say it hasn't been doing well. It just hasn't had the ball that much, it no. seems like. So. No, they, they really haven't. It's kind of been like a different kind of game for the Bearcats so far. The defense has been kind of a staple throughout the whole entire year. You know, they had they had a little debacle last or a couple weeks ago against Jacksboro when we went down there. But you know, for the most part though, and even in that game, you know, they can they did a nice job. It was just once again just kind of those big plays. Uh, what about the other other teams in the area? So I've seen a bunch of them. Uh, 
I saw Graham beat our park a few weeks ago. Where was I last week? I'm trying to, oh, I saw Archer City kind of upset Seymour yeah, a little bit Seymour, last week. Yep. So I was over there too for that one. That was a, I was that was just a weird game. Yeah. I don't know. Like Archer was moving the ball well, but they had yeah. a ton of penalties. Oh, no, it was it was crazy. Seymour was turning turning the ball over probably way too much than they yep. usually do. Yep. Um, so that was a you know to me, there's four teams in that district that are for sure playoff teams. It's going to be Haskell, Seymour, Archer, and Winthorpe. But I couldn't tell you where they're going to finish. And I saw. Petrolia is giving Winthorpe a game tonight. I mean, yep. Winthorpe need overtime to beat Haskell. Um, I think Archer Winthorpe is coming down the pipe in a couple weeks. So it, it Archer hit Haskell, I think, is next week, and that's uh, Macklemore, the coach who used to be at Petrolia yes. over here, he, going back to you know his hometown. He's an Archer City kid. So yep. I think that district's pretty interesting. Um, I think that 3A Division One district's interesting because uh, our park, they're just not they're not as good as they usually are. But right. I'm still not writing them off. I know their best player has been hurt. Uh, but like Drex playing well, Jim Ned's playing well, Bowie, y'all seen them this year. Yep. Like they're winless, but like they're they're, they're dangerous. They're, 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 they're dangerous. Yeah, that kid, that Armstrong kid has a really good arm. Uh, watched him play whenever he was over here. I think he was on, if I remember right, he was on his own 47 and threw a beeline to yeah. the end zone. I mean, and that's a kid that didn't even play football last yeah. year, I think. And, yeah. and I don't, if I could correct me if I'm wrong, he didn't play the first half against y'all. No, he did not. He, because yeah, he, he, had got a tar tossed, yeah. he got yep. tossed in the, into yes. that uh, crazy So there's Bridgeport no telling game. what that game, what the Henrietta game looks like if he was able yeah. to play the whole entire game because he definitely did come in in the second half and was a huge boost yeah. for their offense. And so, and, and so like, they're like a threat. I saw Vernon Burke, and that was probably the best game I've seen all year. Uh, that was a couple weeks ago. Burke won 35-30, but I mean Vernon was up 21-0 after this first quarter. And I saw Vernon Clyde's close tonight. So the, to me, those are the two area districts I think are the most compelling. And and y'all's district I think is going to be interesting. Uh, Calisburg's good again. Holiday's really good again. Yep. I saw them beat Idaloo by 30 early on in this year. Um, Valley View's better. I don't yeah. know how how good they are. They kind of it's kind of hard to gauge them against you know y'all and Callisburg. But they beat Val No Kona a couple weeks ago. No, no Kona, Kona barely beat them. I think it was like 37-34. Yeah. So I mean they're, they're better because I mean obviously Nakona's better too. Yeah. But uh, so it's I mean losing one game early is not a killer in y'all's district. No. But I mean y'all have holiday coming up yeah, next week. Yeah. And, and so y'all really don't want to. Ideally, off. going into this one, I saw I thought of well if you get away from with City View. And then you drop the next two against Cal 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 Yes, we have Callisburg, Holiday, or we have Holiday and then Callisburg back over here. Yeah. And then we go on the road to S and S and then we finish up with Valley View. And Callisburg is a I don't know. I haven't I haven't seen Callisburg play, I haven't seen y'all play. But I feel like you're both solid, like pretty comparable. Kinda right. like last year. Maybe I don't know, like still pretty tough. Not like I mean, in that game last year, I don't know how that Calisburg I think ended up pulling away from y'all, but I, yes. to me, I feel like that should be a pretty good game. So, yeah, uh, um, yeah I think next week, I think there's just going to be a gap between y'all and Holiday. Holiday is just really impressive in my book. Um, but uh, you, you, you lose this, you're gonna it's it's gonna be a little tougher from oh, here yeah. on out. Oh so yeah, you have for a little sure. Less margin of error. Um, the good thing is, is your district next to y'all's, I don't think it's tough as it has been. No. Eastland's down. Yeah, it definitely uh, doesn't look Mill as Millsap's a little down. Yep, yep. Uh, but uh, Jacksboro's playing pretty well. Yeah, they're playing, it, they're you know, playing really well they're right gonna, now. They're going to win the district, or they'll play Comanche next week. I think that's where I'm going to be next week. They'll play them next week. And so, like, you don't you don't want to slide down to fourth and have to, like, play Jacksboro again or, you know, something like that. Although maybe y'all want another shot at them because yeah. I know, I know y'all felt like y'all didn't. Sure. Y'all didn't sure, play that well. For but sure, the team, the, the team sentiment that I've heard uh, is that they want to see them again. If they if they had to see them again, they'd welcome them. Yeah, and, and that, that's probably what it should be. I don't think y'all want to fall to fourth, though. You no, know? <laughs> no, no, no. You definitely don't want to. It, no. ma it makes things a little tougher from yeah, there. Yeah, so. for sure, for sure. But, but again, this game's, this game's definitely a winnable game. Uh, you know, Blevins is such a dangerous aspect. And uh, Klein Essler is yeah. uh, such a threat over the middle. I don't think Seaview has anyone who can really no. match up with them. So definitely uh, I think y'all have a good chance of coming back and winning this game. First few minutes are important though, I think. You know, it's only a two-score game right now, but you can't see you getting the ball worries me a little bit just because they were starting to get kind of in a groove offensively. Yeah, so. for sure, for sure. Who you got in the Red River robbery tomorrow? So I, I'm a Nebraska fan at heart, so of course I can't root for Oklahoma. So, so Texas. Um, I, I know more people go to Texas. 
Uh, I'm not a huge fan of either, but uh, I like to. I just love to see a good game when they play. I hate it when it's you know 30 point game. It feels like the last few years, yeah. most of the time, it has been a good game. Yeah. So, um, who, who, what about you? Are you an OU guy or Texas no? Guy? I'm an A&M guy, A &M so guy, I'm, okay. I'm I'm licking my wounds. For so yeah, you're trying <laughs> to figure out who the quarterback of the future yeah. is going to be, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm a big, I'm I'm a big. Uh, let's throw Wagman in there tomorrow, but. Then again, I've I like Haynes King. I saw him win state. I covered that when he won state at Longview, right. and I thought he'd be a little bit better than I know he's been kind of injury prone too. Yeah. But I kind of thought he'd be the a &M quarterback for two or three years, and it hasn't really worked out. No, it really, um, ha it really hasn't. It just there's just some accuracy problems there, and it's just a. It just doesn't ever seem comfortable back there. Yeah. yeah. So are you a, are you a Jimbo Fisher needs to uh, <laughs> get a play caller guy or are you uh, like because that, that that's the big talk is like I'm hey he needs to have someone call the plays now. I, I'm kind of on the line of I think he's a fine head coach. I think he's a great recruiter. I think he's great motivator, and he can. And I think he still has all those same qualities. I am a believer though that the offensive system needs to have. A refresh. Yeah, re we need to reboot. come back. We need to get a little bit closer to 2022 than we are to 1992. Yeah, I feel you. No, I think that's a big sentiment out there. Is a &M, you know, let's get a play caller and yep. let's try to spice things up a little bit. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. Who, sure. who does a &M have tomorrow? I haven't even checked. Bama. Bama. Oh, that's right. Actually, I remember that now. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Sorry about that. I'll probably be licking my chops. I don't. I don't or, think or, it's going to be the same yeah. quite satisfying. Probably be licking my wounds year. tomorrow as well. Yeah. So. Now they. Uh, what about those two Hershey kids? You've been able to yeah, watch Yeah, so I them? saw them against Brock. I, I helped kind of call that game. Uh, I got kind of bribed into calling that game on the live stream. W5C, by the way, if you're ever, like, somewhere and there's a game at Memorial, they live stream all the Memorial games. And gotcha. my buddy Jonathan Hull, like, actually talks and keeps stats and does that just for fun. But uh, I saw those guys. They're fun to watch. They, uh, they look really the fun to the watch. The Peterson kid is kind of unlike, you know, if you think about the great Hershey running backs, you got Cedric Battle and Foster. A couple right. other guys, Roman Turner's pretty good. He's kind of different than all of those guys. He's kind of a bigger bruiser type back, but he's fast. He's not yeah. like a um, – the, the the person I mentioned in, in the broadcast, they remind me a little bit of, was Ashton Whiteside. He was that big, bruising, burning, and running back from about 05, 06 who had some speed. He ended up playing at ACU as a defensive lineman. I think he got to the C at Canadian Football League, too. But he, he's just a bruising guy, but he's fast. Like he's So he's, he's not like a foster. He's not like a battle. And uh, Jamari and Carroll, that dude's a stud. He just, he just like, gets the ball in that guy's hands anytime. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter what. Handoffs, just throw it up. I think he scored, they scored one of their touchdowns against Brock. It's like a broken play. It's just like, hey, let's throw one on their two, and my one is better than your two jump ball right, session. Exactly. So, uh, Carol's going, if, if y'all haven't you know, paid attention, Carol's going to SMU. Uh, I believe Peterson's still committed to USC out west. I was about to so, say, I, I, thought uh, I was about to ask, is he still a USC? Yeah, guy? I haven't heard anything differently. So, uh, yeah, so, again, if Hershey's playing on a Friday night or Thursday night, I know they may have another Thursday game. Definitely worth your while to either go out to Memorial from Henrietta or just watch it on the YouTube. You know, they got the YouTube channel. Yep. I, was, I watched uh, Graham Old High last week on the from my living room, and that was a surprising game. Uh, Graham's going to be really good. They're pretty good right now. They're solid, but they're all so young. They're like 15 sophomores on their varsity, and most yeah. of them play. Well, they always so. seem like – Graham always seems like they're pretty so – they're going to field a pretty solid yes. team. Even down years, yes. they're going to still be pretty competitive. Yes, and so. for sure, for sure. Oh, man. But, yeah, um, yeah. so those Hershey kids are fun. Ryder right now tonight, I, they just got a score of Hail Mary. I think it's 41-7 over Abilene Cooper. I didn't see that. Those those Ryder coaches, I share a hallway some of them, they're like, you know, if we play well, we should win. Right. But, th you know, they've been playing all these close games. They yeah. got lucky to beat Decatur, uh, lucky to beat kind of Coronado, and then barely lost to uh, Lubbock Cooper, barely lost to Stephenville. So I, I felt like they were due for a dominant, you know, let's just blow someone out of the water. But I didn't think it'd be tonight. Uh, Abilene Cooper is kind of one of those teams that's in the consideration to win that district as well. And last I checked, it was 41-7, and Ryder had caught a hail mary. So, uh, pretty wild, pretty wild night. Tonight, oh yeah, uh, for sure, for sure. And I love when district opens. I always feel like, uh, you know, before the season starts, you're anxious for the games to get going, and then after two or three weeks, you're just like, all right, can we start district now? Like, yeah. I, don't, I, I want some more games that really matter. Yeah. Not just tune-up games. Oh, for and, sure. Uh, sure. You know, so tonight's always a fun. This week's always a fun week with all these districts starting. There's always an upset. There's always something something you didn't see coming. Maybe yeah. two teams, you know, that you'd hardly tell, like, how good they actually were. And so, and, and I mean, it may not be here at Henrietta, but, I mean, this is one of those I think most people thought Henrietta would win this game and oh, maybe sure. win it 
decently or you know, score a couple scores. So yeah. maybe maybe Henrietta will make sure it's not the upset. But there, there's always one when district starts where you're like, oh, wow, I can't believe that just happened. And it throws kind of all your pecking order off oh, yeah, the way, for, for the way sure. you think the district's going to look and everything like that. For so. sure, for sure. Well, Zach, if there was one team that you had to put your money on right now that's going to win their region, I won't go as far okay. as to say a state team, okay. but the team that wins their region and goes to the state semifinals. It's going to be about that? It, it's Hershey for sure, just because uh, it's it's not a super strong region. There's some good teams. Glen Rose is good. Uh, I think Glen, Graham's. You know, I think they're up 24/7 on Graham right now. But Graham's all right. Uh, uh, who am I thinking of? There's another team out there, Seminole. Like, there's some good teams in that region, but I don't think any team is as talented top to bottom as Hershey. Hershey dropped to D2, and that definitely has helped them in, in the matter. So I think it's Hershey. I think Benjamin's probably going to win state. I'm six man. I know we don't really talk a lot of six man around here, but uh, ben, I think Benjamin's going to win state. I think Hershey wins its re region pretty decently. Like, I yeah. mean, they could be tested, but it's not going to shock me if they aren't. Um, I think Holiday's going to play Gunner in the fourth round. Yep. I've seen that. I've seen <laughs> that's a trilogy, or I've seen more than a trilogy. Yeah. So um, I think Ryder's got a chance to make a run. But Ryder's been know, the one that I've heard about quite a bit. With uh, It's a little tougher region because there's more Metroplex schools right. in now. Before, it was an El Paso region, a West Texas region, a Fort Worth or El Paso district, Fort Worth district, West Texas district, and one like other district this year. Uh, they're in District 2 and not 3, so there's one more Metroplex district in there. Gotcha. And so I think uh, Argyle, I think some people think is the favorite. But Ryder, you know, has a chance to get to playing Argyle in the fourth week of the season. Yeah. So I, th I think Ryder's got a chance. Uh, I think it's going to be hard in the 2A level. I, th I think our 2A region is pretty tough this year. Um, and, in, and that 3A one with Our Park and Vernon and Bowie, you got Brock. You yeah, got, I yeah. mean, you got you got some really really quality Whitesboro. At so I think it's gonna be tough for them too. At one point, Brock might have been the best. Uh, oh, and four. Yeah. Oh, and four team in the state because they played. <laughs> golly, they played Pleasant Grove, which was the top ten ranked three a four a team, and then yeah, they, they lost really stacked to Hershey. That, they really stacked that preseason. And then they lose to Gunter, which was the only three a team they lost to, but they're number one in three eighty two, and it's like a five point game. Yeah. So yeah, I know Brock is basically gonna kill everybody. The rest of the way in district, and then I imagine they're gonna win a few. <laughs> few oh yeah, games. for sure. It was funny because I, when I covered the Hershey game, I went back and looked because uh, I was covering it for my buddies in Abilene. They covered Brock. Brock had not lost two games back to back ever in one season since they've been around. Like they've only been around playing football since like 12 or 13. Yeah, I mean, it's I not like a huge amount of time. Right. But they never lost back to back games in a season before, and they ended up losing four in a row. But that, I mean, that was just crazy to think that's, of. You that's know, uh, so. those are the kind of uh, those are the kind of numbers and streaks that you just, you yeah. just never realize like how crazy they are until like you really until it happens. Y yeah, and, and then, then you, you really get to put into perspective. I, yeah, I spent some research that night just going back. I was just kind of curious, like, has Brock ever lost two games? Because you look at their season by season, it's a lot of thirteen and one, oh, yeah. fifteen and zero, oh, thirteen and one. I was like, and I'll tell you an interesting s streak, and it's gonna keep on going tonight. It looks like, unfortunately. Uh, I looked this up a couple years ago, and I was talking to Hull about it after Jacksboro lost to Cisco. Cisco has beaten our area teams like 26 or 27 straight games. Wow. It, it dates back to like 1979 or something. It, I mean, it, it's ridiculous. Henrietta saw that. I mean, yeah, there were a couple a couple years in the, that district, and Henrietta was you know playing we, pretty uh, well then and, and lost to them. I think it was 08. I think we played them in the first round in 08 at yeah. Graham. Yeah, I, I think that, that was a pretty close. And we were up 15 to, uh, if I remember right, I think we were up 15 to nothing at half. Time. Oh really? And then they came out and put up 42 on. Oh that. gosh, <laughs> I, I knew I knew they beat y'all decently that year. But I mean, they I mean, holidays played them close two or three times. Uh, you know, I mean, they've just always seemed to had our number, uh, our area's number. It feels like. Yeah, and it's. So I looked it up the other day for whole game because I was like, you know, if if only plays them and wins, and I didn't think that would happen. I was like, that would be a crazy losing <laughs> streak they'd break. And I looked it up, he, and it was it's something like 26. 25. So it dates back to Bowie beat him in like 1979 or something. How that's the last time an area team has beaten Cisco. Speaking so. of Mahoney, how about them guys? Yeah, down there? that's good for them. I'm, I'm, I'm excited for them. Uh, tough. Pl it's they, been a tough place yeah. this, you know, traditionally to play. I was around a little bit when I started out the newspaper. 05, 06, 07. They were, had some decent yeah. teams. That Pittman kid was a stud quarterback, and then you know he tore his ACLs last couple yeah, years. Yeah. Um, Guy's kid does does well running that offense. Uh, I know that they're losing tonight. They lost to Stanford. That was a big game last week. 
Uh, they're probably going to get fourth in their district because Holly's like number two in the state, and they're really good. But uh, they're, they're going to be a fourth place team with a chance to win a playoff game or two, though. Right. It's, their district is so tough compared to everyone else in the region. Right. So, yeah, I mean, you know, you root for every team, but when the team is, I mean, they were so bad. There are stretches oh, where they were they, just so bad. They, yeah, that stretch got. I, that 38 I game, yeah. I, I, or 40, I, I can't remember if it was 38 or 40, but it was like the second longest in the state. Yeah, and it, then they turned around and won, won one, and then they lost like 20 more after that. So they really only won one game out of 50 something at one yeah, point. Yeah, that was so. a, that's that's a rough that's a rough little streak to go on. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for them. I've seen them play a couple times the last couple years. I saw them last year play against Archer, and they got into a big hole in that offense. It's just hard to come out of a hole. But they played pretty competitively against Archer last year. Uh, you know, Archer and Seymour were the two best teams in that district, and so uh, they they want to play off game actually last year for the first time yeah. in 20 something years and like i said even if they get fourth in that district tonight they'll win another playoff they, they'll have a chance at least to win a playoff game oh, for sure. how about and i know they're your, your rival and i don't want to give your but like how about dakota too and they've had an easier schedule they, uh, but they, i'm still I mean, I was that's very, a good win they had against valley View, so whenever so. i saw that they were going down that was just i just don't ever think about like schools going down I, I never would have thought that Nokona was like headed down, I, and I don't really keep up with their yeah. moments or anything like that. But whenever I saw that they were dropping down, I was like, "Wow, that's huge for them." Yeah, but I oh didn't yeah. think it was going to be huge for football necessarily. Yeah, they, they, oh, they for were, other they sports pretty, too, yes, like volleyball and basketball, girls basketball, yeah, and men's basketball over there. Yeah, no, that's yeah, Holy I, cow. I feel like that helps them more. But um, and it's weird too because like Iowa Park's 3A for the first time ever, and Vernon, like it's just hard that for me the to. Other, and that was the other side of it too. Yeah, was that we were we had a lot of. Shit in the area yeah. last and, year. And, we'll, and obviously we pick up, in our district, we pick up uh, Vernon and Isle Park for yeah. every other sport except for it, it feels so weird. I look at, like, you know, volleyball results. It's like, wait, Vernon, Jacksboro is a district game? Like, yeah. like they've never been in the same district in anything, ever, yeah. ever. And yeah. so it, 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 it's still, by the time we get used to it next year, it'll be probably switch again, obviously. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, um, sure. but, yeah, Nakona's benefit from that. I think they have a decent chance of making the playoffs and even maybe contending for a district title. There's a few teams in that district they didn't drop into an aldi district where you got right. state ranked and since you know they're in a manageable district so they so. stay out east yes so they'll their district six so they're they'll i can't even remember district five actually is really tough though district five is like coleman and toller it's a weird region because you go i mean coleman's out by abilene right and then six and they go it goes further out east after that so they'll no matter what they get in district, they'll have a tough first round game because even the fourth place team might be like Bangs or something, right. and Bangs is pretty decent. So yeah, but um, just for them to be five and zero start, and obviously I think they have a good chance of at least getting to about seven eight wins, making the playoffs. I know that's kind of a big deal out there. So it's 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 one of those years. I feel like there's there's Benjamin, there's Holiday, there's Hershey and Ryder. All four of them are like really elite ranked yeah. teams and then everything else is kind of just like pretty good teams could have a bad night. I mean you never know like I'm covering Vernon Burke and I think Burke's going to win and Vernon's up 21-0 right. after the quarter like this game out here tonight I feel like oh I bet Henrietta you know wins by a couple scores and CV's winning so I feel like we have four really good regional challenger type teams and then a lot of just pretty good teams that just kind of depends every night like archer city i would have thought seymour would have beat archer city and archer city comes out and and yeah. beats them pretty good so you, it's it's kind of it makes the games fun because you never really know what's going to happen but as a coach it'd be frustrating because you never know what's going to happen exactly so. exactly well zach we'll let you get back to work no problem i uh, appreciate, appreciate it, it. anytime good seeing y'all and yes, uh, take care I'll, i may see you down the road yes so. sir folks we'll go to commercial break take a, take a we'll take a little commercial break Hear from some of our sponsors. Comcell, your locally owned fiber optic internet provider, wants to wish the Bearcats good luck this season. We hope the Bearcats have speeds like our lightning fast fiber. Go to comcell.net to see our packages and sign up today. This is Mickey G with G Options. We proudly support the United Bearcats. For this Need to paint out your garage, shop, or barn? Are you remodeling your house or constructing a new home? Give Duck Creek Disposal a call. Our locally owned company offers roll-off dumpsters perfect for jobs of any size. 
call Duck Creek Disposal at 940-257-5660. Henrietta Fitness Company, open 24-7 in Henrietta, 940-531-2819. Follow us on Facebook at Henrietta Fitness Company. Dairy Queen is a proud sponsor of Henrietta Bearcat Football, located in Henrietta at 927 East Omega Street in Henrietta, Texas. Williams Realty and Auction Service, LLC, is an independent brokerage licensed in both Texas and Oklahoma. You can find us at 106 South Bridge, just off the square in Henrietta, Texas. Give Scott a call at 940-781-7484 or come by for a visit and find out how we can help you with all your real estate and liquidation needs. Our focus has been and will continue to be integrity and client service. Leaving your job? Consider an IRA for your nest egg. Objective financial advice can help you consider all available options to make a suitable decision. Call Shane Cody at 940-538-0583. Shane Cody is an investment professional with Momentum Independent Network Incorporated. Member FINRA slash SIPC. The Gonzenbach family proudly supports the Henrietta Bearcats and the Henrietta Ladycats. Let's go, Bearcats. Curfew and Grain of Henrietta backs the cats. We have been serving farmers and ranchers in Texas and Oklahoma for over 80 years. You can depend on us for quality bulk and sacked feeds. Like the cats, we are passionate and excited about what we do. Cheer loud and proud, Caitlin. All right, welcome back here at the half. About to start the third quarter of play. Zach, we got some stats there. You see anything that jumps out at you? Well, the biggest thing is that the Bearcats are moving the ball. Anytime they, on the plays that they've ran, they're running in at about five yards a clip. So, I mean, that's the number. That's the kind of a number that you want. Now, City View is getting about seven a carry, or seven per play. Now, that's something you don't really want whenever you're playing against them. But as far as it goes, the Bearcats are really kind of just. I mean, the, the numbers aren't bad on offense, but kind of like what me and Zach were talking about and like me and you talked about earlier, you know, we just haven't really had the ball for very long. And City View's done a nice job of prolonging their possessions and everything, and they've got the good, timely, big plays whenever they needed them. They've, they've, they had a great first half against the Bearcats, and the Bearcats really just didn't have that great of a first half, honestly. This game could flip in a matter of minutes, you yeah. know. Uh, biggest thing, though, uh, is something else though is uh, your penalties. Bearcats have been penalized three times for 35 yards. City's been penalized one time for 10. And that those three, and while three penalties in a in a half isn't crazy, well, they had it's one the big one, though, it's the amount back. it's the amount of yards and the timing of the penalties that's yep. killed them. Yep. You're gonna need a big stop out of the Bearcat defense though on this first drive for sure. Bearcats you don't want this thing calling the up there half. to a four possession game. No, you don't. You can't afford that. As well as they can run the ball, you can't afford that. You Sorry, gotta, a three possession game. You gotta make a defensive stop here and get the ball back and try to change this momentum early on here. Yeah, and whenever you're gonna play a team like City View, they're gonna run the ball quite a bit and we know they're gonna run the ball. So the biggest thing is that, you know, they're gonna be able to play their game if you allow them to continue to Game possessions. What Here's a kick. Kick off. It'll be out of the end zone with the win there. He's got it. He is a, he's a pretty legitimate kicker. Yeah, he's real good. Really good. All right, so City View will start off in their here in the third quarter. Start from the 25 yard line. Again, the wind's still blowing there out of the north. It's gone down a little yeah, bit, but it's still it's a factor. Yeah, it, Flags are both. You can or, feel it, I can tell you that. Yeah, <laughs> you, can, you can really feel it. All right, so he comes out, two receivers to the far side, one to the near. Missing a lineman. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe thought they were on defense first. Quarterback in the backfield. No snap, picks it up off the ground, hand off to the far side. Met there by Logan Taylor again. Gain nice. about two on the play. That's a good job right there by number 16, Cannon Cody, to force that thing back inside to Logan Taylor. Great job right there on first down for the Bearcats. Now got two more downs to get this thing stopped, and then you're right where you want to be. Yeah, all the plans that you had coming out. 
of the uh, coming into the second half, they fall, they unfold right there in front of you if you get two stops right here. Yeah, second down and seven. The start of the third quarter, two receivers at far side, one to the near, one in the back in the backfield. Quarterback back is going to hand it off at the middle. Got him. Stop there. Make sure he's down. I thought he was down. He's kind of leaning on some guys yeah, down behind. I would, I'm not going to deny that he wasn't down, but he he kind of looked like he fell. Well, they gave him a yard. First. It's going to be, be third yard. down and six. Third down and six. Nice job at D line right there to cut those to uh, to get underneath those blocks of those guys and really cause havoc up there up front and let those linebackers come in there and make the stop. His lineman got pushed back into him. That's why that play really didn't go very far. Two receivers of far side, one to the near. A guy in the slot on this side. Long snap, snap back. He's looking to throw, looking right, looking right to throw long again. He's got a man wide open over his head. He's had to stop and come back for it. Big break there by the Bearcats. Good coverage right there by Michael Del Williams getting in there and breaking that thing up. Nice job. And that's exactly what you wanted right there. Now here comes City View. They're going to go punt. Wow, good job there by the defense. That's big right there. That is huge right there to get the ball back right here. Right, the Bearcats made some adjustments there. Didn't halftime. have the best punt the last time he punted either. No. Because I think that's, that's the last time he punted. The, wasn't one it? thing in the Bearcats' favor has been the kicking game. Straight that's, up in the air, yeah, it's going to be another a short one that's just punt. not that great. Got it at the 49, so great field Nine position there for the Bearcats. Bearcats. Nice we'll fair catch it. right there by Nick Mills. And we'll keep it here, Zach. 10:27 to go. First down in Third team. quarter, Bearcats' first possession here. They have great field position, great stand by the defense there. You got the wind behind you. Yep. Need a good offensive drive. We haven't yep. had one since the first quarter. Yep. You got a little bit of offense. You gained a little bit of that momentum back right there with that three and out. Now it's time to go and for get let this offense enforce this thing. Two receivers to this side, one to the far side. Quarterback back takes the handoff. Oh. Almost almost picked off. You get almost pass falls incomplete. It's a good Second job there. I don't know how number three Ty Deaton gets away with a uh, yeah he, does, how he doesn't get OPI right there. They yeah. uh, I think he got really lucky on that one. He number did. one Desmond Whiteside. He jumped that all yeah, the way. He did a great job of jumping that route. Deaton played defender and got a hand on him. <laughs> Thankfully there's no flag but two receivers this side one to the far. Snap back, he's gonna hand it off at the middle. A little bit of a hole, but it shut down pretty quick. That and was, that was no number 11, third no gain, third, third down 10, Zach. Yeah, third down and 10, now you need a big play. You really didn't wanna, now we uh, kinda need a play just to get you out in the open and then if you get in their territory, maybe you can consider it, maybe you punt it and then uh, pin them really far. Pin them really deep, but you yeah. really kind of need to get some yardage out of this. Snap back, looking to throw. Deep drop. Maybe looking for Got a little strength. space. Got some space. Yep. He's going to be a yard short. Oh, my goodness. He's going to call him two uh, yards uh, short. Uh, three yards know. short. Uh, I don't know about that spot, spot necessarily. There. Man, I thought he had another yard at least. Yeah, I was kind of thinking he might have one or maybe two. We'll see what Coach Johnson wants to do Tough here. Tough call here early. Do you pin him down or you got fourth and three? Yep, we're going to go for it. Big play right here. Big, big play right here. Little one twins receiver to each side. Like. See if he tries to draw them off sides here. Oh, we got a timeout. Bearcats are going to call a timeout. Timeout called by the Bearcats. Yeah, I don't know if the Bearcats didn't line up right or what right there, but Coach Tiller comes hauling in there to uh, make sure they get that timeout called. You know, sometimes there's some indifference there. That's a timeout here early in the third quarter. You're going to be down to two, but sometimes you're trying to decide what to go. Guys rushed, get in the wrong this spot. Is a, it's a big play. Yeah, that's definitely one of those times with this big of a play right here. This is one of those times where you, you can probably justify calling this. Yeah to make sure that you're in the right place because you really don't want them as much as you want to go for it you really don't want city view to get the ball back you know in this good of field possession you're the, the idea entirely obviously is to get the first down and you really don't want them to get the ball back with this kind of field possession either so in, ma ensuring that you've got the right play in there is crucial 
All right, three receivers this side, one to the far side, snap back to Blewin. He's going to go up the middle. I and think he's not he got gonna it. Make it. Nope, he's short. He's a yard short. He got hit right there and didn't, didn't get that extra yard. It's going to go over on downs. Comes up short. Mm. Ball goes over on down. Mustangs first down and 10. That's really tough. He had to fight for that yard. And yeah, he that's just tough. Wasn't, wasn't able to get it. Hate to be this way, but you kind of wonder on that kind of play right there what would what what that looks like if they get the what we thought that ball should have been spotted yeah, I mean, originally. A, yeah, on they were definitely going I on think fourth. The yeah, the first down play. I thought they were short a yard. All right, see if you get the ball here. Twenty, they're up twenty-seven. Nine oh two to go. Third quarter. Hand off to the right side. He's got some open to the fifty forty in Bearcat territory. This is where you got to look out now. You got to lose yeah. momentum here. Your offense couldn't convert the fourth down. Yeah, that's now your not defense ideal. is on their toes right Yeah, here. that's not an ideal first play at all for the Bearcat defense. Guys got to rally. They got to kick control of this thing again, and they got to make sure everybody understands. Like, hey, we're still in this ball game. We just got to keep playing. We got to give the offense the ball one more time and let them go get six for us. Yeah, have to dig down deep as to how bad you want to try to claw back into this thing. Yep. Snap back, handoff up the middle, gain of four or five, breaks a couple tackles, a gain of handoff about nine on first down or eight. It'll be second down and right two. Down at the 35 yards There's line. another play right there for City View where they run the ball right up the, right up the middle and they're getting good chunks of yardage right there, right there out of number two, Jeremiah Sunday Durham right now. And you know what that's going to lead to. They're going to ha hammer him right now and then they're going to lead in with number 25, Keontae Gresham here in a minute too. Second down and two. A lot of options here. Snap back, looking right, throws right. Oh, got the him. Side. Almost got a hold over there. What's the rule on the center readjusting the ball, Brad? Yeah, that's, that's what I thought he raised I up. I thought he raised the ball up there. too a little bit. I was yeah. kind of curious about that. Like they give, it seems like they give him a lot of leeway, different levels. But I thought he moved the ball around quite a bit there right before the snap. Like he was set and then came out of it. But everybody interprets that differently. Yeah, I, I, I had no idea what the rule was on that. I but I, I just didn't think that he could do I didn't think he could really move it around like that. Snap back, handoff up the middle, gain of four. Esther's trying to strip the ball, yeah. slows him down, but he's still going to get the first down, which like based on where the official is or stuff. So that's, yeah, that's number 25, Keontae Gresham. Nice job right there. Yo, he's tackled by quite a few guys, and Klein comes in there, and he's trying to rip that oh, ball out. we got a flag out. holding. Oh, there we go. Back in the backfield. Sorry, I missed that one. Yeah, I did too. So that'll back him up. He first and 20. That's the second. kid's a load right there to take down. He is a load. That kid's a... Uh, he uh, he, he is a be. junior as well as the Durham kid. So they're going to have a nice little stable of running backs come next year as well. Yeah. 7.37 to go. Third quarter. City View 20. Henrietta 7. Bearcats turn the ball over on downs at about midfield. Makes it first down and 20. For they the stopped him their first drive of the half. Of the, of the second half, forced the punt, had great field position, but couldn't convert the first down. Two receivers on the far side, one to the near, one back in the backfield. Snap back. He's looking, looking to throw. He's looking down the right side again. Got a guy open. Dell over there had his back, and they're gonna they're gonna call a pass yeah, interference. Yeah, Michael, Michael Dell's got to look back at that. He can't just go in there and try to break yeah. that up like that. Yeah, you got to look back for the ball. They're going to call that up, especially if you made contact with him before the ball got yep, there. Yep, yep. You see that a lot. That's You see it at every level a lot. Yes, and unfortunately, a right there, to that's make. a play that if he turns his head around, he might be in a good spot. And, he's yeah. a, and Michael Dell's 100% oh, athletic enough that he can make it. A yeah. really good solid play on that ball without having to uh, without having to uh, commit that penalty right there. Yeah, well, it's out of first and twenty, gives them a first down. Yeah, that's the other crucial. The that's the other line. big factor here. Ball's out. 
Balls out. Here we go. go. Here we go. Got a flag. The flag down. A fumble on the play by the city. Picked up by Henrietta. There's a flag back at the 30 yard line. It looks like it's in the holding territory, but we'll see what the officials call. There is a flag on the play. Personal foul. Oh, what is that? I don't know what that was. It is a get block call against the Bearcats. Oh, they blocked somebody low, but it may be after the turnover. Yeah, but I'm going to assume that's it's after, after the, the turnover. So after a turnover, several years ago, they changed the rules where you can't cut anybody. Okay. So I think I saw a guy down. I, I didn't see what happened, but I'm guessing that once that ball is just like interception, fumble, that ball changes possession. You cannot go and cut anybody, and I think that's what happened. But yeah, they they've the really ball. tried to. Uh, they've really tried to limit the all the uh, anything around the knee area yep. to uh, prevent any so kind of So big play uh, there by the injury. defense to stop that drive, though. It's going to be backed up, but at least you've got the ball. I believe we do. Yes, we will have the so ball. big play by the defense to strip that out. They must have That's been seeing They've been trying to strip the ball out in this half. I believe that was number 18, correct? Uh, I missed the... That's be placed on the I believe that was 18. That's Bryson Washington, sophomore. All right, so Bearcats come back out. Three receivers to the far side, one to the near. Snap back to Blevins, looking left, throwing left. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's up in the air. Oh. He's trying to hit. Is that to Taylor? Blevins no, it's Estler. Yeah, that was two Estler and number 13 for City View. Jaleel Thomas almost had a Boston really like good play on that Boston ball. Boston like it was in the air for 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, anytime you have that ball go up in the air like that, everybody just gasps for air. You're just... <gasps> <laughs> now the Bearcats get an opportunity here to see if they can put something together on offense. They have struggled yes. since that first drive. Snap back, looking to throw. Looks over the middle. Oh, no. no. He's trying to hit Esler, number 13. Picked it off. He's to the yeah. 20. There is a flag down back here at the 14-yard line. Thomas. There is a flag on the play. If the Bearcats get lucky here, it'll be like a hands to the face or something like that on City, against City View. Hold on, oh. Henrietta. Holding and we're not going to get lucky. No. Penalty is declined. So Henrietta gives First it right back. Musty. Well, number 13, Jalil Thomas, he makes up for almost getting well, that other one. the thing is, they're key and Esler now. Yeah. So they threw that one to him, they threw that one to him. Somebody else has got to get open to make a play. Yep. Because they're obviously key and Esler right there, and they're just, yep. they're just baiting them. And what? You felt like it was a really good chance for the Bearcats to get something going with the fumble. The penalty kind of wipes it out a little bit, but it doesn't kill you. You still can no. go drive, but the interception right there, that just hurt, that one hurts. And now City View has the ball in great field position. Yeah, two receivers of far side, seven minutes to go, third quarter. City View 20, Henrietta 7. Snap back, handoff to the far side. Defense is going to be asked yep. again, and they stop them. Got him. Good job. Really good job by the defense right there. 53, 18, and somebody else. Another flag. Oh, no. That's flag gonna be now. late. Oh my goodness. I think somebody from the black and gold said yeah. something. Good night. Dead ball unsportsmanlike penalty to call against the Bearcats. Can't do that, guys. Can't do it. Coach Johnson does not look very happy. That was Deaton, obviously, because he's been yeah. out. You just, your team got a yeah. Yeah, that was a big stop right there on first down, and then it gets wiped out by that penalty right there. That's just not. Line, first down that's not ideal at all. Now you got to go make a stop. Snap back, handoff up the middle. Defense again makes a good tackle there. Gain of about three. It's going to be down to the five yard line. That's going to be second down and goal there. And they're just running the clock down. Yeah, six thirty-seven to go, third quarter. They're just going to do. They're going to do what they. They're going to. The game script is going exactly how they want it to go, so they're going to be able to play their game entirely for the rest of the game. Yep. I have a bunched up formation again right here. Yep. We've had a lot of success with it. Yep. 
Get him stopped. He's driving into the end zone. Touchdown. They got another flag. Number three, Malachi Williams. Maybe a face uh, uh, Looks play. like he's waving it off. I was about to but I don't know what that I means. don't know what that would mean. Is he saying no touchdown? Becoming quite the field goal fest right now. Personal foul, the call yeah, against we'll the Mustangs. That. Maybe a hand to the face or a face mask or yeah, I don't know. a punch. I don't know. That was, that was really weird by the line judge to run in like that. Yeah. and just He saw something on this side on that play on the goal line. Now we're having a... Yeah, now City View wants to talk about it. They're probably asking what to do with the flags now. Why are we, why are we free with them? Four in the first half. Four within the last five minutes, maybe. <laughs> oh, we need another turnover. We got to return it for a touchdown to get back in this thing. 6:06 to go, third quarter. Yeah, we got to get the juice going. Ten's coming back in. That'll probably just about eliminate them and their little wildcat stuff. Goodness, what is the discussion? 606. Can't imagine what they're talking about unless they talk to the. Because that's the line Could it judge on the far side. No, he's Well, it's the field. back judge. Could they possibly be saying it happened after the touchdown? What? Sideline warning against City View. Huh. They're on the field. One, two, three. Helping the runner, the call, that is a loss of down, ball placed at the 10-yard line where it is third saying? down and goal. Loss of down. Uh, I'm assuming they had something over here. Here to this side, one of the far, looking left, throwing left, incomplete, trying to hit 21 at the goal line. It's open. Number 21, Just get him. Falls in so that brings up fourth and goal. goal. Through all that, Zach. Wow. Yeah. So now they're going to... Looks like they got the T out they, there. Is they going to try to kick this Looks like thing. Forrest putting the T down. Yeah. 5.58 to go third quarter. It's been a crazy start to the third quarter. If I'm the Bearcats, I'm really watching for a fake right here. Well, they'd have to take it all the way to the end zone. Fourth and goal from the 10. This is a 20, almost blocked. He made it. They got it. 23-7, 553 to go. We'll be back after these messages from our sponsors. Hey football fans from Dr. Guerrero and staff located at 102 South Archer Street here in Henrietta. We see patients of all ages and are currently accepting new patients. Dr. Guerrero fell in love with our small town and family traditions. Let's beat them, Bearcats! Family owned and operated for three generations, Wimsco has been buying, repairing, remanufacturing, and selling electric motors and new controllers for close to 39 years. Located at 206 Central Avenue in Petrolia, Wimsco is open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Wimsco can service both personal and business accounts. You can stop by the shop or call 940-524-3363. Mark 10, 45 says Jesus came to serve and not be served. I'm Penny Reardon, Realtor with Anchored Realty. Please give me a call and let me serve you on your next transaction. 940-733-7445. Go Bearcats! All right, we're back here at Bearcat Stadium. 5-3 to go in the third quarter. City View 23, Henrietta 7. And the Bearcats, Bella Casey. Muff kick down. Run, Taking Miguel. There at the 25 30. Run, Miguel. Almost out to the 35 yard line. It'll be about the 34. Oh, that's 18. 18 on the return. That's Bryson Washington. Soft. Bryson Washington takes the ball out to the. He's had a couple of big moments tonight, or right here in this third quarter. He, had, he was the one on the fumble recovery that brought it back this way, and then he just had a really good run right there. On a uh, on the kickoff return, and he sets the Bearcats up with pretty good field position. All right, Bearcats.
Bearcats come out, two receivers to this side, one to the far side. Need to get something going. Yes, sir. Snap back, makes the pass. Hit in the backfield, breaks a couple Keep of tackles. Keep running. Out to nice. the 41-yard line, 42. It gave him the yard there, Zach. Yeah, I think the makeup call. <laughs> See, look, while the lineman was on the two, they put it back at the 41. <laughs> yeah. So we've got a guy down for City View, so we're going to break for some commercials here. Bearcat football brought to you by Angela Novell, attorney at law. Reg and Chapel Deaton Consulting Inc. Postal Family Credit Union celebrating 90 years of service. Dwayne Ayler Insurance Agency covering your home, auto, life, health, and commercial insurance needs. All of your priorities covered under one roof. Let us customize an insurance package to meet all your family's needs. Now offering farm and ranch policies tailored to your needs. Give us a call at 940-538-5015 or stop by our office on the Courthouse Square. All right, back here, 532 to go. Bearcats facing a second down and four. Nice play there on first down to get six yards. They need to get something going here, Zach. 5.32 to go in the third quarter, and they're down 23-7. to seven. Still a two-possession game, though, Brad. Is, you know, it, it may not feel like it is, but it's still a two-possession game. Four. This game is not out of reach, folks. No, nope. I mean, I'm going to switch in a hurry. Two receivers the far side, one in the near. Blevins, the quarterback, looks right, throws right, caught, incomplete. Nope. Blevins pass intended for number one. Oh, there we go. There is a flag on the play. What happened there? I missed that. Look That's going to be a late hit on City View, I believe. 65 came in there and wiped out 58. It's getting a little chippy out here. Way, officials have got to way, start getting control of this way, now. Way, way after the play. Man, somebody's going to get hurt. 525 to go third quarter. It's been a long third quarter. It has been a very long fall. A lot of things fourth happening. Quarter. Had a couple turnovers. Had a lot of penalties. Yep. Yep. A lot of late penalties. Ball plays at the 44 yard line with the Bearcats will have it first down and 10. Bearcats takes got a little bit going way, on for them though. Takes them all the way to the 44 of City View on that play. Yep. That penalty, 5.25 to go. Two receivers on the far side, one in the near. Blevins back, looking to throw, looking left. Uh-oh. Throws right. <gasps> oh. Oh, my word. Passion tennis for number 18, Bryson Washington, falls incomplete. Well, they're the trying to hit a screen two. over here, and the guy was basically yeah. hit when the ball was in the air, and the referee standing there, and no flag. Yeah, Henry, Second down and 10. The Henrietta fans are. I was right here in front of the stand. Yeah, they, uh. They were let. They're gonna let. Uh, they're gonna let him hear about it. Yeah. Two receivers on the far side. One to the near. Blevins looking to throw. Rose left. Nobody open. Now trying to run. A voice two tackles. Gets clipped and out of bounds. That's one of those plays right there for Blevins where he's gonna try his hardest to make something happen, it, even if it means he's got nothing. But it's one of those plays also where in the back of his head he's just gotta know. Let me just get. Let me just get this thing out of here. Yep, get it out of there. We'll try again. Now, you, now you lost four yards. Yeah. Now you got a third and 14. I'm guessing Johnson will probably go for this if they get. A decent amount of yards here. Yeah, if they get a... They're running out of possessions yeah, now. Yeah, if they get to... Uh, if they make this about a third and six or a third and five, I would envision us probably going for it. For sure. Play clock down to six. Two receivers to each side. Blevin is looking to throw, looking left. Tipped at the line, incomplete. Passes. Rough it's going to be, yeah, I was about to say, we're going to have a, we're gonna have rough in the pass. I don't know what this original penalty, though, is going to be. If it's against City View. There's another one? Yeah, there was two. Oh, he two threw flags. two. Yeah, he threw two. Or somebody threw. Oh, there was one that was, the one right here by the H was thrown first. And then That's the, uh, then the head ref threw the, uh, the last one. And that was well, and that was probably going to be holding yeah. the call against the Bearcats. Roughing the, the passer, roughing the passer, call against the Mustangs. 
what does that mean? So how does that work exactly? How is that off? Just replay it. Just the replay yeah. the down? Yeah, even though that doesn't matter, the, the, the yardage doesn't matter at all? No. Okay. I, Unless I, it's I, after I was the curious play, about that because I knew that was a 15 and a 10. If it's after the play, then it's different. Right. So you're going to replay third and 14 now. And the third quarter continues to drag them <laughs> yeah, on. It does. Five uh, we've been in five. We've been in five. We've been at the five minute. Yeah. Mark for what seems some, like a while. Yeah, we need something positive to happen here for these Bearcats in this sideline over here. Low snap on the ground. The ball's on the ground. Henry other falls on it. Now they're they going to say, "City, if you might have gotten it." Unless you're saying that he was uh, down. Oh, he's down. I believe he is down. That's not ideal, though, and that's going to bring on your punt team. No, you can't go for it from there. It's fourth and 20. Mm. Just wonder how much of that cast on Blevins' hands a factor. It's got to be a factor. Yeah, right I would say that's probably, uh, it's, I mean, it's obviously a factor, but there's just, there's a side of it where. Number three, tight deep man to punt. You can tell he's. I mean, you can tell he's going to be frustrated. I mean, yeah. he's a tough. He's a tough kid, and he wants to give. He wants to be at his best all the time. Full start. Call against the Bearcats. That's going to back him up a little bit farther. Just continue to shoot themselves in the foot. Deaton's had some good punts though tonight. He's. He's got definitely the got the here. leg, yeah, the with, yeah, with the lit, with the wind as well. Yep, yeah, that's gonna be a good one again. See if it'll bounce, bounce. Yep, good, get a good, good roll. roll. Go, go, yep. go, go, go. There you go. It's gonna be down inside the 15, down to the 13, 13 yard line. That's where City View will take over. They lead 23 to seven, 419 to go in this third quarter. Once again, you need that defense to step up and keep this a two possession game. Like say congratulations to the this is one of those times where you're, 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 you're testing your gut here, Zach. Yeah. How bad you want to fight back into this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because you got to have a big play and you got to stop them. Yes, for sure, and for so far sure. You've hold, held them to three points this half, which has been good. Yes. But your offense has not uh, helped you a whole lot. A lot of, a lot of bad penalties. So here we go, City View, two receivers, the far side, one in there, one back in the backfield with the quarterback. Snap back, looks right, going to pitch it to the far right, try to get around the corner. They force him back inside yep. again. Good job by Taylor. Yep. Only a gain of one. It'll be second down and nine, four minutes to go in the third quarter clock running. They had a pretty good game so far tonight, obviously, and he usually has a pretty good game. It's just a bit, he's just about one of those staple points that you can count on just about every night. And uh, they're going to need him to keep going with it and keep uh, keep showing up. That was a great job right there. Yeah. Forcing that run back to the looks inside like to his buddies. Of, looks like he's got a head of steam and they force him back mm -hmm. in and only the one yard gain. It looks like it could be five. Yeah. 340 to go, third quarter, snap back. He's gonna run it again to the far side. He's got a hole up the middle. Nice tackle there. Who was that? That was Klein Klein Essler. Essler. What Man. a tackle. Man. He looked at, so number two, Jeremiah Durham, he runs up to that right side, then he sees a wide open hole that everybody in the stadium sees. Yeah. And out of nowhere, Klein comes, and just when he thinks, Durham thinks that he's about to take off, and he's seeing flashing lights and six points on the board for the Mustangs, <laughs> Essler's there to wrap him up and shut him down. A big play here, third down five, three minutes to go, third quarter. Need another stop by the defense. Snap back, they're gonna run this way. He's got the first down he's got the hole Esler hits him there but it's too late he's got the first down he got about about two yards to be first and ten at the 35 25. yeah they hand off right there to Keontre Gresham that's their other that's their compliment back tonight he's done a really good job of doing exactly that he's probably over 100 yards if I had to guess I think he was at 80 uh, after the first half City of you now, 2.30 to go, third quarter. Yeah, and this is exactly what you didn't want, what you don't want as the Bearcats, you know, and just see if he's going to continue to run this clock away. Hold up the middle. 
gain of about 15, 16 on the play. Oh, 14. They call him down back at the 39-yard line. Another big play right there out of uh, Gresham for him. And here comes uh, just in just when he, he wears down the defense. And now here comes number two, Jeremiah Durham. Two receivers on the far side, one of them here. Hand off this side. Got him. Got him blocked up. Got him. Nice job. Good job, guys. Good job. So that's going to be zero, McMillian, and number 16, Cannon Cody, right there, getting in on that. And I believe Cole Scribner also got in there and chipped away at that one as well. Nice job right there. Those are your uh, McMillian's your end right there on that play. And then... McMillian looks to be your heads up nose. Officials timeout. So we got an injury on the play. Yeah. So we're going to take a break. 126 to go, third quarter, CDB 23, Henrietta 7. Financial investments are very important, but so are the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. That's why Edward Jones is a proud sponsor of Henrietta Bearcat Football on Texoma Broadcasting. Contact your local Edward Jones financial advisor for your investment needs. Financial advisors Carrie Williams, Lee Gunter, and Brad Yurko are proud sponsors of Henrietta Athletics. Visit at edwardjones.com or connect with us on Facebook. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. All right, back here, third quarter, 126 to go. City of facing a second down and 12. Bearcat defense trying to make a play here. Keep this game within a couple of scores, but the clock is running out here. Yeah, the... Uh Best case scenario right now for the Bearcats is you can get the ball back at the start um, with a little bit of time left in the third quarter, maybe, but for sure by the start of the fourth quarter, that'd be ideal. Snap back. Deep looking ball. Throw, looking left. He's looking all the Got way. Got him. Back Good nice. job by the defense. Careful. Good job. Good job. Cody McMillian right there. Back to back plays for the Bearcats. A great job by him. Cannon Cody, number zero, Cody McMillian. Number 16, Cannon Cody also getting a little getting a little love right there on that. Nice job by the by the Bearcats rallying to the ball. Now they're gonna go to a Wildcat six. That's that's when they've got uh, number three, Malachi Williams in there. Be sure to check your tickets if you're holding ticket number nine nine seven six thirty six. This is your last chance to claim your money. Only six seconds on the play clock. They're not much in a hurry here. No, they are not. You got to call timeout. All right. Yeah. All right. So with 30 seconds to go, third quarter, City View uses their second, our first of three timeouts. The score: City View 23, Henrietta 7. We'll be back after this message. Texoma Broadcasting would like to thank the Henrietta All Sports Club for sponsoring the broadcast this season. The Henrietta All Sports Club invites you to join us as we support the athletes of Henrietta High School. The All Sports Club meets the third Wednesday night of the month at 8 p.m. in the Administration Building. For updates on Bearcat and Lady Cat action, follow the Henrietta All Sports Club on Facebook and Twitter. Also check out our website at www.henriettaallsports.com for schedules, sponsors, upcoming events, and purchase spirit items online. When you're at football games, support the club by visiting the concession stand and spirit booth. All right, back here, 30 seconds to go, third quarter, CDB 23, Henry in a seven. CDB facing a third down and 21, and Zach, we need a stop here. Made a big stop right here. Watch the pass on the far side. That's yep. what's been happening on these third down and forevers. You got one receiver out to the right, bunch formation. Now they shift. 
<laughs> so they moved early. Yep. Go get him, Cody. Good no, no, that's Cannon, Cody. Sorry. Wow. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. He chased that thing all the way down from his uh, backside defensive end spot right there. That was awesome. A serious to watch. speed right there. Yes, he it ran was. 20, 25 yards. Yeah. He did a great job chasing that one down. Great job. Now we get a great opportunity for the Bearcats. They haven't really, City View really hadn't had very much of a punting game tonight. No, and they're punting against the win. Oh, they're well, they're going to flip the field, though. And the Bearcats are going to get the ball back to start the fourth quarter on the punt. All right, we'll be back after these messages from our sponsors. Comsouth, your locally owned fiber optic internet provider, wants to wish the Bearcats good luck this season. We hope the Bearcats have speeds like our lightning fast fiber. Go to comcell.net to see our packages and sign up today. This is Mickey G with G Option. We proudly support the New United Bearcats. We're here for all your option needs. Find us on Facebook. Need to clean out your garage, shop, or barn? Are you remodeling your house or constructing a new home? Give Duck Creek Disposal a call. Our locally owned company offers roll-off dumpsters perfect for jobs of any size. Call Duck Creek Disposal at 940-257-5660. Alright Zach, 12 minutes to go. City View 23, Henry of the 7. Yeah, they've got, about to punt the ball. They've got Nick Mills positioned back here just where they want him. Coach House and them were talking to him just while he was running out there. And the punt is going to hit at the 45. They're going to get a city view bounce all the way down. And leave it alone, 30. leave it alone, leave it alone. It's going to kill it there at the 29. They finally got a good punt there with the win. They got a yeah. good bounce out of it. Yeah, they got the they had the wind in their back and everything like Love that. So that's going to help them a lot. Now here comes the offense. Now this is the drive that you want to see something. We got to go get points right here because we're running out of time. 11:48 just starting the fourth quarter. Bearcat offense has struggled since the first drive of the first quarter. Well, not the first drive, but second drive. They've moved the ball at times, and they've gotten penalties. And they've been having to dig themselves out of a lot of third and longs tonight, and they haven't converted very many of them. And so they need to put together a good drive and try to avoid some penalties here and put together. They have time. Yeah, but they just We've gotta, got. They got to put a that, drive, and together. that's the thing. They've got time that they can get back in this thing. We're about for to get sure. a flag. Two seconds to snap. Fakes got the it all the off, time. Looking. He's looking for a screen, but nobody's there. Now he's trying to get out of trouble. He's going to lose a yard. Yeah, use two yards yard on the two. play. Yeah. I didn't see what that was. He, he he stopped and he went back like he's looking yeah. for a screen, but I didn't see anybody. Yeah. It looked it looked like it looked like that was the idea, but I couldn't. I'm kind of with you. I was looking for it to open up as well, and I just never saw it. So second down and twelve. Two receivers to this side. One receiver to the far side. 10 seconds on the play clock. Snap back, he's looking to throw. Looking right, throws mm. right, incomplete. Ball was thrown that short. Number one, Brady Lyde, falls incomplete. We've kind of got away from our running game Third here. Third down and 12. They have kind of gone away from the quarterback run game anyway. The, yeah. uh, the other guys have not helped out much yeah, today. They haven't the really game. chipped in to really get much going. We had a little bit going on those uh, first drives. The City View's defense did a nice job of uh, clamping down. Well, they haven't thrown to Fletcher out here either. No, we have not thrown to Fletcher tonight. Three receivers to this side, one to the far. Third down, 12. Made a big play right here. Here comes the rush. Quarterback's in trouble. He's going to be sacked. Thrown down on his head. Yeah. That's number 25, Keontae Gresham right there, coming off that edge and making a big play. And here comes your punt team. You know, third down and long like that, your defensive linemen are just going to go to the quarterback. Yeah. Well, seeing that's they know you're gonna throw. Yes, yes, yeah. They know what's happening. They know where it's about. They know that the that the Henrietta's got to throw, and uh, 
they can just widen out a little bit and just tee off on uh, Blevins if they can get back there. Kick and a hit at the 50. Bounce down around the 45 yard line of City View, and that's where they'll take over. First and 10, 10 12 to go in the ball game. They got a great field position. I just don't see them run the ball. Zach. Not the ideal team to be giving the ball back in the fourth quarter whenever all of the, the other opposing team needs to do is just continue to run the clock now. I feel like their defensive line and offensive line have won the battle tonight. They have, uh, they've, they've done a great there. job up front. The City View has. Now our defense has done some good things to kind of slow them down on the running game, but offensively they've been able to do almost anything. Yes. Their defensive line has done a good job tonight, put a lot of pressure on the quarterback. Snap back, it's going to hand off right up the middle. Breaks a tackle, gets into the second level. It's going to be a gain of about seven. It'll be second down and three. Clock's running with 10 minutes to go in the ball game. Big chunk play right there for City View on their first down carry. And number 13, Logan Taylor. Gain seven on the play. See the defense tighten up here. Short. Deep. They're going to stop him short, trying to strip the ball out. It's going to be third down and one. I think that's the right spot, though, that that, yeah, judge, that, that, that uh, line judge over there has. I think it was Cody that hit him head yeah, up there. Yeah, somebody got in there. And he, yeah, somebody so got in. Somebody had him, and he was gaining him, and he was still moving, but somebody else came in there and really stuck him, and uh, he didn't. He went backwards after that. Under nine minutes to go now, running that clock. This is two plays right here for them. Yeah, oh yeah. Yep, number three, uh, Malachi Williams is in. He's going to get that direct snap. And Millie's got the first down. Yep. Out around the 40 yard line, tackled there. It's going to be a first down. Number three, Malachi Williams with the keeper tackled at the 40 yard line by number 12, Ty Cantwell. And number 61, Hunter Campbell. First and 10, Mustangs. Two receivers this side, one to the far. Time back, ball handoff up the middle again. Cut down there and there's a flag. Number 25, Chris. Cody with, the, with the tackle. The flag on the play. It's coming from the head ref. That's usually an uh, offensive Gotta penalty. Got to be a chop block or a 16, Ken and Cody. Yep. Yep. Holding the call against the Mustangs. That'll work. We're going to have to have a turnover here, Zach. We're running out of time. Yep. Yeah, you, uh... You definitely need a big play to get this team so scored. They're fine just running the ball and not even, they shouldn't even, they probably shouldn't even throw it. No, no, oh, no, no. They, uh, they, yeah, they, they need to be just running the ball entirely. They've had a lot of success tonight doing it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Coming this side with the run, he's got blockers out in front and gets around the corner this time. Driven out of bounds the 40 yard two, line. Picked up a big chunk yard. right there on first down. It's going to be second and ten. Second and ten. Pushed out of bounds by number 18, Bryson Washington. Clock stop at 7.45 to go in the ball game. That one receiver to each side. 7.45 to go. Snap back, handoff up the middle. Behind blockers, he's got two or three yards. He's going to be about three yards short. Be third down and three. Third, third down and three. 
think they converted almost 60% of their third. Yeah, the they've uh, they've uh, they've had a really good night offensively, and the Bearcats have played tough on defense. It's just kind of one of those like we talked about earlier. You know, they've been on the field quite a bit tonight. Order receiver to each side. 7:06 clock running. Big play, third down three. He's going to hand off the far left, trying to get around the edge. That's the corner. not good. He's going to be off the races. 20, 10, 5, touchdown, City View. He got around the corner that time, Zach. We talked about that all night. Yeah, they loaded up. They, City View lined up in a formation that was pretty tight, so it caused the defense to tighten up a little bit as well. That really allowed number two, Jeremiah Durham, to get outside and show off that uh, 100 uh that 100 meter sprint yeah. uh, yep. speed. Before Justin Judy, so it's at the extra go. point. 29 7 City View with the extra point coming. High snap, kicks up. And it's good. So your score with 7. Good, sorry, with 653 to go game. in the game. City View 30, Henrietta 7. Henrietta Fitness Company, open 24 7 in Henrietta, 940. 531-2819. Follow us on Facebook at Henrietta Fitness Company. Dairy Queen is a proud sponsor of Henrietta Bearcat Football, located in Henrietta at 927 East Omega Street in Henrietta, Texas. Zach back here with 6.53 to go. Now it's 30 to 7. The hill just got a lot steeper. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a pretty steep hill to try to climb, especially against a team like City View that's going to run the ball and has run the ball all night, seemingly. Uh, Bearcats still got to come out and fight, though. They got to show something on offense. They got to get going somehow, some way. This is, I uh, hate to say it, this is trending towards two straight games of uh, – not very much offense. Yep. Yep. Kick off the 10, 15, 20, 25, trying to get a blocker. Breaks now versus field. Nice return. Trying Ball's to out. the ball and they stripped it. City View recovers. Flag. Yeah, stuff after the play. Flag doesn't matter. It was after the change of possession. Tumble on the player recovered by the Mustangs. There is a flag. Yeah, it's gonna be after the play. I don't know who. Dead ball. Personal foul against the Mustangs. Well, it's gonna move him back at least. Yeah. Six forty-three to go after the turnover and the penalty. That'll back City View up to the forty-two yard line. First and ten. Six forty-three to go. They're just going to keep running the ball. Take yeah, it, it, the clock. They got a huge conference going on on the far side over there. Number 14 at running back right now, Keyshawn Perry. It's another sophomore that they've got. Well, it's going to be a chip. you got to be careful here not to get tossed out of this game because if you do, you miss half the yep. next one. Yeah, and for the Bearcats, it's a huge one. Yeah. And for City View, it's a huge one. I think they've got Callisburg next week. Oh, that'll, be, that'll be interesting. Both of those games Keyshawn are going to say a lot about what the future of the yep. uh, rest of the season as far as district goes. Yes. Makes it second down and seven. The Bearcats will go on the road next week to face the Holiday Eagles. But just gets a little tougher. Yep. 
And then we come back home, we got Callisburg. Yeah, you got the three toughest probably district, I mean, based on yeah. what happened for the last several years. But thing is, you know, you got to show up each week. You can, anybody can beat anybody. You never know. Snap back, handoff at the middle. He's got a first down and then some into the secondary down inside the 30 yard line. Just rattling off big runs after big runs. Left and right now. And they've got everything going their way. Yep. First and 10 at the 25 yard line. 540 with the clock running. Both teams have two timeouts. I doubt you'll see those used unless there's something. Hand off at the middle. Good tackle there. Still running. Going backwards. Hand off number 14, Perry. Tackled at the 19 yard line. Tackle by number 12, Ty Cantwell. Daniel yeah, sits on the play, second down and four. It'll be inside five minutes for the time they snap this one. So Zach, what's gonna happen between now and next week? Well, you better stop you better uh, you better be ready to stop the run. Because that's exactly what Holiday's gonna do. Uh, and they're gonna do it in a different style, a completely different style than what City View does it. City View relies a lot on uh, on a spread offense that creates uh, mismatches and puts their skill guys in great spots. You use, they allow them to use their speed. Holiday gets under center, best I can remember anyway. I haven't really, I haven't looked at them at all. But they are gonna get under center and they're gonna run a lot of power stuff. And they're gonna dominate and try to f enforce themselves. That offensive line and defensive line, they're gonna try to enforce themselves. And then, uh, you know, they've got quick backs. Just, I mean, just the same as any other team. Uh, and they're just not gonna throw the ball, though. They are, they predicate themselves on running the football. And they're a very well coached team over there. So third down and one, here comes the power. Oh, I'll say that about timeouts. Timeout called by the Mustangs. Here's your timeout. Yeah. So 356 to go in the ball game. Henry it's a down it, 30 to 7. City is going to call a timeout here to. Yeah, that's a numbers game this at this point for them. One. They're they're trying to figure out the numbers and get the numbers right for themselves. It's third down and short, and they probably don't want to give the Bearcats the ball back at all, despite the fact that the Bearcats cannot score a oh a 23 point play. Let's say, right now, if the score remains to hold, but they, you know, you still don't want the Bearcats to have the ball. You want to, you want to use this time for your city view to continue to run the clock and run it down as far as you can while continuing to get chunk yard or to get first downs or at least a couple more first downs. But uh, you don't want to give the ball back to the Bearcats at all. You want to use this time to, you know, treat this like a game situation where. Okay, Henrietta's down by a touchdown right now. You don't want to get them the ball back at all. Let's use this time right now to hand the ball off, keep eating the clock, keep running the clock down, everything like that. I'll say this. I think a lot of people have, taken, have not taken City View seriously. I'm not saying our guys didn't. No. I think a lot of people in the area in the district are going well, to be started off surprised at the size of that line and the speed of those yeah. backs. They're going to be tough to stop. They uh, they were... They were um, the first game, or uh, their first two games of the year, I don't think they scored a touchdown. And if they scored a touchdown, they might have scored seven. That was against Vernon, who has shocked some people with how good they've been and playing. They were, they were winning tonight earlier. And then, uh, I cannot think who the other team. Millsap. Was it Millsap that they played? Yeah, I thought they, yeah, played, they played Millsap. Millsap, yeah. I think they might have played Boyd as well. For some reason. But then last, or the, but then two weeks ago they played a team out of San Angelo, and they gave them a pretty good stomping. And did he get in? No signal yet. It's close. Nope, he's short. Second down and goal. So I don't think you can call it now if you saw it. No. 
315 to go. Second down and goal. I tell you, the Bearcats are fighting down there. They're still tackling and trying to make hits. They're trying, but slow them down. But yeah, it's just it's just been one of those nights again for the Bearcats on the offensive side of the ball. It's really just kind of I don't know. Sometimes you just go through one of those funks and you just can't you know you just can't happen. You know, you can't sustain drives and everything like that. There comes your quarterback dive. Clock ran down, or we get a timeout. Uh, timeout called by the Mustangs. Got a flag and a timeout. It's their third and final timeout. You regroup, Brad, and you go in. You know, you come in Monday, wipe the slate clean. City, City View was last week, and now we're on to holiday. You got yep. a whole other game, and yep. just like, kind of like what Coach Johnson was also talking about. You know, you work all week, and you hope that it pays off on Friday. Yep. So 30 to 7, 2.45 to go. See if you call the timeout here at the second and goal. Bunch formation again. Run this right up the middle there into the yep. touchdown. The whole team's in the end zone. Number three, Malachi Williams. 36 to 7, 239 to go. Again, that was set up by the fumble on the kickoff. Now comes the point after. 36 7, 239. <laughs> Is up. Is good. Yep. Make the score. Extra point is good. 237. Henrietta 7. 239 to go in the ball game. We'll be back after these messages from our sponsors. Williams Realty and Auction Service LLC is an independent brokerage licensed in both Texas and Oklahoma. You can find us at 106 South Bridge, just off the square in Henrietta, Texas. Give Scott a call at 940 781 seven four eight four or come by for a visit and find out how we can help you with all your real estate and liquidation needs our focus has been and will continue to be integrity and client service leaving your job consider an ira for your nest egg objective financial advice can help you consider all available options to make a suitable decision call shane cody at 940-538-0583 Shane Cody is an investment professional with Momentum Independent Network Incorporated. All right, back here. Fourth quarter, 2.39 to go. City View kicking off. They're going to kick it deep. Take it at the 10-yard line, the 15, toward the middle of the field to the 20, cuts it out to the outside, the 30, 35, the 40, drive. drive. Nice He's return. Good job, kid. Bryson Washington right there. He's had a really good game for a sophomore. I haven't noticed him on the roster, Brad. Is this his? I'm, I'm thinking his. he got moved up. Yeah, I think so, I haven't too. Noticed him on there what a coming out party. Tonight, but he's had a good game. Yes, sir. He's the one that had that fumble recovery. Yes, sir. And then he had the uh, he had the last kickoff return, too, that netted some pretty good yardage. Or the, was that real tough run? Got a, I think we got out to about the 40, maybe, or 45. 2.31 to go. Bearcats. Caught. There you go. Essler. Out past the 45. First down. Down to the 43 yard line. Bearcats ain't going to be able to put up enough points fast enough to get back in this game, folks. But you'd like to see them go down and, you know, show if they can score and, you know, get back on the right, get back on the right track here late in this game. Yeah. 
passed out to the left shore. Pass intended for number zero, Billion. Ball's incomplete. Second down and 10. 2-12 to go in the ball game. CD 37, Henrietta 7. There's been several subs on the City View side, I think. Yeah. In the secondary, at least. Yes. Got the same line out there, I think. Yeah, they all look just about the same. Three receivers to the far side, one to the near. Snap back, looking to throw. Oh, there's a hole. Yeah. Don't get more blatant. Get out of there. It doesn't get more blatantly obvious than that one. This ball's incomplete. There is a flag on the play. 2.03 to go in the game. Holding the call against the Bearcats. And just like that, you know, you, Ball plays at the you hurt yourself. Second down and 20 for the you have a big play on first down, and then you to move the chains, and then you hurt yourself on. Yeah, it seems to be the thing tonight on offense. Had a hard yeah. time getting things going. Blevins hasn't been. Got another flag Five now. Yeah, it's probably going to be in the area of. Uh, he got that kid got cut. I don't know if it's the chop block necessarily. But the Bearcats are going to be moving back again, it looks like. My goodness. Holding the call against the Bearcats. Well, like I said, they had a hard time keeping them out of the backfield all night. Yeah. Sometimes penalties are a reflection of that. 159 to go in the ball game. Bearcats are backing up now. It's second down and 30. Just don't want to get anybody hurt now. Yeah, you really want to be healthy next week. It's a big game. Oh, goodness. Mm. Not much there as far as routes down the field and everything. He kind of had a dump off to Cannon Cody down here if he wanted it, but he had his eyes set on going deep. At some point, too, you know, you just take a chance of a pass interference or something. You got to just take a chance sometimes. 134 to go, clock running. There they come back out in the flat, caught Cody. Mm. Nowhere to go. Yeah, they're and they're there immediately the on that. Cody. Tackled at the 35 yard line. Who brings that fourth down and long? Yeah, fourth down, gonna punt it. City View will probably kneel it out, and that'll be a good day and good night. Well, it's interesting. I guess they're going to go for it. I was watching Blevins. <laughs> well, I, the, the punt team was running out there at first. Yeah, now you're going to run out of time. 42 seconds left in the game. Yeah, seven on the play clock. I mean, what? Better the hurry. Guys aren't, guys aren't even lined up. Yeah. I let him. Garrett wasn't even ready. Another holding call. Probably yeah. another holding. Over on downs, Mustangs first down and 10. 21 seconds left. Rough night for the Bearcat offense. Very rough night for the I Bearcat offense. I think the defense did the best they could to keep you in the game. If there'd have been some yep. more drives, you would have put so much pressure on them. But yep. Yeah, the defense hasn't played awful tonight. They've done a, they've done a fairly good yeah, job. For most, of the, most of the half, it was just three points they gave yes. up. Yep. most of this half. Yes. Did that whole long third quarter mm -hmm. stuff. I think they just got a score somewhere in there. Yes, sir. To cut it, but couldn't do it. They take a knee here. And that's going to do gonna well. That's going to be the end of the ball game. Yeah, that'll yep. do it. That's Final it. score, CD 37, Bearcat 7. Be careful going home. CD with the big district win. They are excited over there. The Bearcats left a rig rate before they head to... 
Henrietta are to Holiday next week to face the Eagles, I'm sure one handily tonight. So our final score here from Henrietta, City View Mustangs 37, Henrietta 7. We'll see you next week from Holiday, Texas. Thank you. Good night.